Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Weekly Planet, where we talk movies and comics and TV shows. My name is James, also known as Mr. Sunday. With me, as always, is my very rested co-host, Nick Mason. Look how much energy you got. I've got Mason for my big rest. All right, settle down, mate. It right? also just, could be all the just, caffeine. Go on, dial it back, mate. Bloody <laughs> No, hell. I don't want people to be like they've lost their edge. They took a month off and they came back and they're just not the same. But you but think... I feel like but you, but you think you, you want to you you create a pretense we've gained an edge? <laughs> yeah, that's right. No, we want to be back like we were before, edgeless. <laughs> All right, Threading fine. that needle of being too hyperactive or too tired, and, right in the middle there. Yeah, but it's really late and whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah, we're recording this in the daytime, though. What do you we think about that? Are, yeah, that's going to be one of the big changes we're making to the show, isn't it? We're going to not record it at 1am. Correct, We're going to yes. try. We're, try. we're absolutely going to try. Yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome back, all the listeners. Yeah, thank and you so much. Listeners. Yes. Mm. Uh, and to, of course, everybody, the whole team behind this, Colin, right. who edits this, everybody in the Facebook admins, all the editors, my, the dogs. The dogs, yeah. My the, lovely wife, Claire. That's right. All of these things, you know. <laughs> Your dog did a funny thing, Elliot. One of the dogs. <laughs> One of the dogs. <laughs> Which he mugged my daughter yeah. twice. Yeah. Pretty funny. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Yeah. So stole, that, stole a biscuit. Stole a biscuit, yeah. Not, not actually mugged. No, not actually mugged. But, uh, James, are you feeling good? Are you feeling well-rested? Feeling pretty good, yeah. Like, I... Like, I probably I probably could have just kept going, but it was nice to, like, reset, take mm-hmm. a month, uh, prep some videos of stuff that, you know, we want to do yeah. and, and whatever things coming up. So don't, don't expect anything fantastical. Expect <laughs> the same, Mason. Maybe a bit more this, though. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we're not doing this, though. With no, we can do it. Okay, sure. great. See, Very now good. I all... I, I, I now I regret not matching your energy at the start there mm. as part of the pretense. People are going to say that you've lost it. Oh, no. I've gained an edge, yeah. Should I just be really hyper for the rest of the <laughs> I episode? I think so, yeah. yeah I don't yeah, want yeah. to, though. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, uh, good to be back. A shame nothing happened while mm, we were away. Mason, you say that. <laughs> Mason, just you kidding. say that. Oh, you're joking. I was That's doing good. a little joke. That's I've, one of your famous jokes One of my famous do. jokes that I do. Um, yeah, yeah. And, you know, as, as I think perhaps we mentioned before we went on break, traditionally, yeah, in, in the Hollywood entertainment sphere, not a lot happens during August, which is the reason we took. Not a lot the, of movies come out or yes, whatever. That's yeah, the yeah. reason we took August off, but then it turned out uh, Hollywood was like, let's melt down <laughs> for, for a solid month. Yeah. Not a single day will pass where something weird <laughs> and upsetting will, will, will not happen exactly. in Hollywood. Mostly Warner Brothers related. So I think that's probably going to be the, like the, the key component from yes. this show, just breaking down all of that. And we will get to it. Uh, but, of course, we've got a little bit of news up top related to a few things, uh, some some Marvel news. Mm-hmm. Uh, we want to talk a bit about She-Hulk because there's been a little bit of controversy, Mason. I don't Absolutely. know if you've looked at any YouTube thumbnails lately, but people are very upset. You know what? I never even get those thumbnails. No? I don't. I, you might, you're not in that algorithm. I think I'm in a very, like, limited algorithm. Okay. Because, like, I, get, I even get a panel that's just like, watch it again. <laughs> you know all those videos you've watched previously? Are you watch- subscribed to anything? Yeah, I okay. subscribe to things. Yeah, right. Not a lot of things, like like fifteen channels or something. Oh wow, okay, yeah, yeah. So oh. maybe that's the reason. I don't know, yeah. but it's just like you watched this video two years ago. You want to watch it again? I'm like, oh, maybe a new thing. I don't know. <laughs> maybe. Yeah. Uh, we're also going to talk about uh, the Rings of Power. Ooh. That's uh, that that's coming in fresh and hot. And then we've got uh, some more uh, J.R.R. Tolkien news. He's dead, but uh, just in in terms of like the estate oh. and what's going on there. And then we've got some hot, quick news before we're going to get into everything. Warner Brothers. Now, does, does does our discussion of the Rings of Power require that I have watched any episodes of the Rings no, of Power? No, no, no. Okay, no, good because no, no, I haven't no, I haven't done that. No, uh, no, if no, I could no. kick it off with with what I think is the most important thing that happened. Uh, while he's, we're away, he's back with his one. This bit is of my news. one bit of news. I was hoping you'd forget. Well, I didn't. Uh, this this one is, I think, most important and most relevant. This happened just after we went on break, and I honestly thought for a moment that it would be the wackiest thing that would happen. Okay, uh, but I, I think it's worth noting. I think it's important for us and our audience. Uh, the TV series Pennyworth, which of course <laughs> is the story of the origin of Batman's butler, it was renewed for a fourth season, and it was also renamed Pennyworth: colon, The Origin of Batman's Butler. I thought it was a joke, and here, right? here's the thing: so it's a joke James, title. James, we like to have fun on this podcast, yeah, and, I, and, a, and a significant portion of that fun is imagining a person whose job it is to name like large entertainment IPs, but for some reason is so 
literal minded that they can only name them after literally what they're seeing in front of them. So yeah, it'll be like, or what oh, they vaguely remember. Yeah, oh, oh, Keanu Reeves, he's in a computer, he does a big kick, whatever. <laughs> and I, what I think has happened, James, what I'm worried has happened is that we've been doing that for so long and may I say so powerfully mm. that this person has become real. <laughs> okay. and, and they've gotten a job at Warner Brothers and they're uh, just maybe, like, maybe oh, we, the origin of Batman's butler. I think we got into LG Rhythm, who runs Warner Brothers. Yeah, maybe. The villain from Space Jam. Sure, sure, And he's sure. absorbed a lot of our content. Oh, all content, obviously. But he's somehow those, this is He's one of those through. AI art generators that don't actually generate any art. They just steal bits from, yeah, from right. actual artists. Okay, <laughs> right. And you just put a prompt in. Us actual artists. Isn't that wild, though? <laughs> yes. Like... <laughs> I understand that it's a Batman property, obviously. Yeah. So maybe you've got to put – you can't call it like Gotham Knights Pennyworth because that's not – Yeah, okay. And I think the problem which they are probably having is that not enough Batman fans are watching it and too many fans of like Downton Abbey are what – Right. Like they're, they're tuning in because they see like, oh, it's a sad – there's a sad pale British man and he's he's off to the wars but actually he, he wants to be – Sitting in the moors, yeah, okay, you know, sure. And sitting by a pond and and being yeah. windswept and sad or whatever, and they're like, "Oh, I'll watch this," and then weird stuff happens. Yeah, like you'll meet. I don't Here's know. What's it, he meeting? No, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you who he is meeting because I Ray saw. Ghoul? No, because the one thing that I look. I'm, Water valves? No, maybe I don't know. But the one thing that I did see based around this this piece of news is that there was one promo photo. And it, it's it's I think it's four men and they're in they're in the British Army. They're all wearing that traditional kind of you know that brown sort of high button jacket and the hat and the I love that for them right. And they're all normal yeah. except for one guy on the end. In addition to his army uniform, he's wearing like bits of tank armor and he's blue. What? And he's got like just Google Pennyworth blue guy. <laughs> you won't be the first to do it, and neither was I. <laughs> And he's got like all these cables and tubes coming off him. Oh, with what like is this? blue liquid. Well, here's the thing. So I looked him up. I Googled Pennyworth Blue Guy and I got to the Pennyworth Wiki, which I think should be called Wikiworth or Penny Wiki. <laughs> but anyway, he's just a guy. He's got, he's got like three seasons worth of backstory to this guy. It just keeps going. He's like a rival to, to Alfred and he's sometimes not even in any. Blue. I, he, he's just a weird, but he's, he's very British, isn't he? He's yeah, got yeah, that yeah. like toothbrush it, it is mustache. This James. Purefoy, isn't it? It is James Purefoy, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But here's the thing. So he's it's got so much this character's got so much backstory, and I'm like, when when are they going to explain this? When are they going to explain this? He's in the SAS, he's a rival to, to Alfred. They they have their they become enemies, blah, 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 blah. And then I get like 20 paragraphs in, and it's like, there's a there's a a, a poison called Stormcloud, and he eats the poison and he doesn't die, he turns blue. That's it. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. It's not Bane related. It's not, I thought it'd be Mr. Freeze related, oh, but yeah, it's not. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway. Well, I, this is their Fish Mooney, isn't it? This yeah, is an it original, uh, yeah, it's original their, villain. It's their OC, yeah. So, Anyways, by all accounts, the show is fine. Yeah, I've heard it's fine. People are like, this is all right, actually. It's, Did you know it was three seasons? It, it's the third season, I'm, apparently. It's the, the, well, the fourth is coming up, yeah. What? Yeah, this is the fourth okay. one that's coming up. Yeah, just uh, pretty good. I, I, Why they, is this still going, though? I don't know. We'll talk about all the stuff well, that's Yeah, well, exactly. But I, like. Is it cheap? Why couldn't you like the but the, the, the what I'm really getting at I think is that the title yeah is bewildering like you couldn't think of it f- like Pennyworth from the Secret Files of the yeah. Batman or something that or, would work or like Pennyworth like put Origins, in a, put no. in a Wayne something Pennyworth of Wayne Estate or yeah something. I don't right, know. yeah sure <laughs> I don't know Mason yeah yeah but the fact that they were like oh, the origin of Batman's Butler. <laughs> Anyways, if the Weekly Planet posters, uh, the wonderful Twitter and Instagram account, could just put up a Pennyworth poster, as is the origins of Batman's butler, and just see if people notice. Sure. Or think, like, do they know it's real? Thank you, Chris. (laughs) You don't have to do that also. It's your account. You can do whatever you want. Wow. Amazing stuff happening on Warner Brothers, and I hope to circle back in this episode. We will. That's for, right. For too long. And that's been one bit of news. Is this, was this, is this happening all the time now? Maybe if people respond well to it. <laughs> <laughs> if people tweet at you with videos of themselves going, one bit of news. I don't like that. Maybe they're dressed as a Dracula. <laughs> They're dressed as a Dracula, like, newsboy. They're, they're Dracula, but they've yeah. got, like, a newsboy hat on and a, and a, and a mail bag. Okay, when are they delivering papers, though? Nighttime. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got me. Yeah. The night news. I just thought it would be in the morning and I'd get you. No, no. Okay. <laughs> maybe, maybe, some, maybe some of them will risk it if it's an overcast morning and they've okay. forgotten to They'll do bring their, an umbrella or whatever. Bring an umbrella, yeah. Great. Mason, here's some news via Marvel and THR. Apparently Matt Shackman 
has left Star Trek IV Ooh. for Fantastic Four, the movie. Well, well fan, uh, Star Trek IV, you know, that that wrapped filming decades ago. Yeah, I, I know, but he just doesn't want to do it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I think. Stop making me sit around in this studio. <laughs> you finished making this movie years ago. Yeah, exactly. It was set in the 80s because it was filmed in the 80s. Now, he's worked on a bunch of things, including House MD, It's Always Sunny, The Boys, mm. WandaVision, Game of Thrones, oh Revenge, Mason, Mad Men. So a bunch of like premium television. He's done one film in 2014 called Cut Bank, which I have not seen. Cut Bank. Cut Bank. What could that be about? It's about, here we go, also known as Helltown. Oh. Uh, so this was, a, this was a movie named with a random word generator. Oh, it's got Liam happening. Hemsworth. It's a Liam Hemsworth film. Oh, my goodness. Which you know what that means. What's up? Just not very good. Okay, great. Sorry, Liam Hemsworth. <laughs> But uh, wow! I just I've never seen. We, some... we, we're gonna start. We're gonna start the new the new season of this podcast by making enemies. Name your famous and favorite Liam Hemsworth. The movie. one you can't say the, the dressmaker. Is okay. it the dressmaker? I haven't seen that one. He dies in a grain elevator. <laughs> that's right. He jumps into a grain elevator. or yeah. whatever. He, he's like. So that's your favorite one where he dies in a grain elevator. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like he's been looking for a franchise, you know, and he hasn't quite. Sure. Those OPSM ads. Is he doing that? Yeah. Oh, that's look that up. Look that up on the YouTube. No, you look it up. I've already done it. I love them. Yeah. Anyway, they tell a wonderful narrative. <laughs> Anyways, what are we talking about? Oh yeah, Cut Bank. Cut Bank. So no. Anyway, so Matt uh, Shackman. Mm-hmm. He's yeah. Apparently, he signed on for Fantastic Four, and you can expect. I think, and I heard this a while back. I don't know if I mentioned on the show that they're probably going to announce the cast for Fantastic Four next week. Yeah. Uh, Penn Badgley has oh, been yeah. named. Are they going to circle back to a John Krasinski? I believe friend of the show, uh, Nando V Movies, uh, put up a tweet today. Apparently there was some leaked potential. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see it. Okay, let's find it right now. Okay, some potential cast. This this is maybe the potential cast. John Boyega. Oh, no. This is this is, this oh, is these are just D23 I saw this. casting leaks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. John Boyega, Henry Cavill, Jodie Comer. Daisy Edgar Jones, John Kaczynski, Giancarlo Esposito, Denzel Washington. I love all of that. Yeah, right. I saw, there's, there's some rumors. I saw Denzel Washington for like Magneto or Professor X. I yeah, quite maybe. like that. Mm. And, and Giancarlo they, Esposito also. Professor yeah, X. as Magneto or Professor yeah. X. Yeah. Henry Cavill. Sort of the rumors have been swirling the last couple of weeks that he might be jumping ship for Marvel to do a Superman-esque character, so Hyperion yeah. or, or Wonder Man or, you know, any of those. DC, you got to, what are you doing? What are you doing, DC? What are you bloody, what are you bloody doing, mate? But he's been waiting around, so, yeah. I mean, if they're not going to put him in it. And he's I, been barely, oh, you know, he's been barely able to scrape in a couple of Sherlock Holmes movies. I know. It's between seasons of The Witcher and whatever. Yeah. I still think he'll come back as Superman if they could, like I don't know. They're in. Mm. They're in. It's all upside down. We'll talk about it. Now, speaking of Mad Men, mm. which you mentioned briefly, and I just jumped on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see the trailer for Confess Fletch? I did. With um, uh, what's his name? Um, John Ham. Trailers ahoy, by the way. Hong. Yeah. Uh, John Ham is in it, and also uh, John Slattery, who is his his mate in, oh, yeah, in, in Mad Men. Yeah, and there. Yeah, that's fun. I barely remember Fletch, but yeah. is, is that? Is well, that, maybe isn't that the? Is, is that right? <laughs> what he's doing? <laughs> It seems, yeah, it seems kind of fun and quippy. Mm. It's Greg Matola directing it, who did Superbad and Adventureland. Oh, that's great! And then okay. some movies later that uh, nobody watched. Well, are they good though? The ones you didn't don't watch? know? Digital Liam Hemsworth movie? Maybe, yeah. maybe, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Yeah, it looks fun. I don't think anybody's going to see it. No, but uh, Fletch is a million. But years I will. Old it's and... it's coming out on digital, and I will I will buy it on digital to support it because it looks fun. Yeah, cool. And I like John Hamm. Mm. I like what he's about. Uh, any predictions though? For I like Jodie uh, Jodie Comer, Comer as. Anything, but right. it's like a, if she was like a Sue Storm, I yeah. like that casting a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, anybody else? I couldn't. I couldn't think of a. Actually, John Boyega would be a pretty good Ben Grimm, and he could also not mm. be there that much. Could be Human Torch as well. Yeah, they that's could be true. going the sort of the Michael B. Jordan route. Yeah, no, fair enough. Um, we'll see next week, but they're going to announce all manner of things and the things. Yes, mm-hmm. potentially, uh, including. I think there was that poster, and there's like. It's like a Mondo poster and it's got like Indiana Jones and other bits and pieces in it, which they're going to. Oh, sure. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did see that. Yeah. All, also all manner of symbols. So and, and many secrets. things. Mm-hmm. Anyways, look, uh, that's all well and good, but She-Hulk did a twerk and everybody's. <laughs> she, she has spent the last, well, we are three episodes in to this, <laughs> yeah. this, uh, this series and she has done any number of things to upset any number of people. It's true, Mason. And it seems deliberate and I'm here for it. <laughs> I think it is so funny. I Look, 
I like it. The show is pretty funny. To I be like fair. it. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, it's nice not to be able to have to comment on it every week just to get mm. that. Well, we've already got comments from people that are like, if you like this, you should kill yourself and mm-hmm. you've lost your minds. Yeah. I like it. I think yeah. it's pretty good and pretty funny. Yes, a lot of the CGI is very ropey at yeah, times. We've talked it. about before, like the reasonings behind that and how they're all, they're all crunched. And, and, but it, but it, and it's, and it's, you know, I, I think as we speculated in in previous weeks. The stuff that has already been made, like the Hulk character yep. model and the Abomination the, body model. Except for the face. Very yeah. strange. They seem quite good. In fact, I think the Hulk model looks even better. They seem to have they seem to have had time to like work on his stubble. I think it's the and, stubble. And his like his glasses wiggle when his face moves and that yeah, sort of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Like that's interesting. But the the new stuff, the Hulk the She Hulk specifically, that character model, not great. Yeah. But it depends but on the But sometimes it is. There's a scene in the most recent episode where she is being interviewed for She's a TV station, work. and it's directly oh. to camera. The twerking comes later. Yeah. And and that looks pretty good. Yeah. But there are moments where she's just walking through the office and the the clothing drapes weirdly yeah. and the character moves Weird weirdly. Yeah. yeah. But I guess the Hulk kind of moves weirdly. Yeah. If you just have him walking through a scene, that does look odd. Yeah. But, it, yeah, I think, again, it, it depends it depends really scene to scene. But I will say this. Yes. Uh, like I have been enjoying it, but I so, as soon as I saw that twerking scene, uh-huh. I'm like, we're never going to fucking hear the end of this. Like this is going to be unless James. People, Here's people the thing, to... though, because there are there are moments in the first episode where I'm like, we're never going to hear the end of this, and then the second episode. Oh, you think happened. like a bigger? Thing I think a bigger happen. thing will happen every episode. I think something. I think they will do something deliberately to top this. I think she might even be like. I, think, I reckon there might even be a moment where she's like. You don't mind when Deadpool speaks to the camera, yeah. But uh, but I'm doing it, and you're all mad about it, or whatever. <laughs> like I think they might be ahead of the curve in terms of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there were some moments in the first episode where the people were mad about. They're like, uh, because in the in the in the in the comic books, actually Bruce Banner saves saves Jennifer Walters, but he can't save Jennifer Walters in this one because he can't be a hero anymore because we want whatever you know that thing. Yeah. Because in the comic books, she's I think she's shot by the mafia or something, and Bruce Banner needs to give her a blood transfusion. Blood transfusion. Whatever, yeah. But if I may, James, Please. if I might head this one off, I don't think that origin works in the present day because the the version from the 80s, mm. that Bruce Banner has like no friends or allies and he's on the run and it's the 80s and his version Ugh, of the Hulk, gross. his version of the Hulk is just like a unstoppable rage monster that, that just smashes things or whatever. Yeah. But the modern day version of the Hulk is none of those things. Yeah. Like, if anything, the the problem with the Avengers in the movies is they're like over resourced. Mm, so, yeah. like, if she was if she'd been shot, he could just be like, call up Wong or Doctor Strange and be like, "Can you whip up a portal?" That's a good. Can point. I call in a yeah. god or a super scientist or a guy who can make flying ants really big and well, pick so her up or whatever? He does help her. Like, he, he well, like exactly stops but, her from beating up those guys. Yeah, and yeah. yeah. But the, like worst case scenario, he takes that inhibitor device off his arm and he turns into Smart Hulk, yeah. who's him but can just leap her to safety or grab an ambulance or something and grab an ambulance, grab an ambulance yeah. from the hospital and bring it over grab or whatever one out of the air, or go on social media and be like, "Does anybody? Can anybody help us? Somebody help do this? Yeah, right. The only around. way that that the only way the, her origin works now is if it happens instantaneously and neither of them can stop it. Yeah, because okay, otherwise, yeah. why would he give her a blood transfusion? Yeah. That's a good point. Anyway, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, the other thing that I will say about the the, the first episode is people are like, why doesn't he just kill her? Remember, remember they were in a fight. Why doesn't he just? Why doesn't he just smash oh, the truck right. up? He could just kill her. He One second. Sm- <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> But like, have you ever been in a fight with anybody in your family? Yeah. Why don't you just kill? Why don't you just use all your strength and kill them? <laughs> why don't you punch their head off? <laughs> Uh, maybe because there'd be ramifications, you know. I don't know. Maybe you don't want to kill someone. Maybe you don't want to kill someone you grew up with and you like them. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe think like a human being or yeah. something. I don't know. Also, the Hulk's strength like fluctuates wildly all he's the not time. Even the, he's not even he's the strongest not even, version. Yeah. That he's, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, if we were to anyway, do it, she's so much better than him, and I'm mad, mate. You're right. Exactly. This yeah. isn't the Hulk that I grew up with. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Specifically, it's exhausting. The Eric Banner honestly, Hulk. like I. It's getting. It's like it's really at the point where like I don't even want to fucking talk about this because I just don't want these insane incels. And like people hear that and they're like, "Well, I, just because I don't like it doesn't mean I'm an incel." If I say that and you go, I'm, "You're talking about me," that's something that you need to deal with, right? right? <laughs> I just I don't want to I don't want to enter in any dialogue about any of this shit. It's fucking exhausting, honestly. Yeah, it's just a twenty-two minute sitcom. And comics, like, have you if you've ever read like if you've read comics at any point in time. 
they just wild, they wildly fluctuate in yeah. terms of quality and also in terms of and things logic. That I, yeah, and what I like or don't like to compare to another person. This is just comics, but we have to hear about it every week. Right. God. Let's go back to the world of comics where <laughs> you went to a comic book. MCU TV sh- series should be like comic book stores. You go and you silently buy your comics and you leave and you don't talk to anybody about them. <laughs> well, anyway, what, what, what happened in, in two and three? The twerking and the some, twerking something and in the second episode, I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think it's fun. I, do, I also yeah. think it's fun. Yeah. Um, and, you know, there's little things like there's a Wolverine mention, like yeah. Claus. There's They mention a guy sticking out of the earth. Finally a reference to the Eternals. Those are things that are just like you can very quickly do that in post because it's just like a newspaper. Just yeah, like, yeah, they're uh-huh. just two small newspaper articles. But I think the big thing also from the first episode was Captain America had sex at one point or nice. whatever. So, you know, p- people were excited or angry about that or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That's fun. That's really fun. Speaking of just like horrible fan bases, here's one that's researching, Mason. Mm-hmm. On IMDb, I don't Go know if you've on. noticed this, but Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power is being review bombed to heck, Mason. Oh, my goodness. If you look at it, there's like thousands of reviews for uh, ten, both 10 stars and 1 stars. The other thing apparently – What about in the middle stars? Yeah, there's a few of those. So I think that's probably like if you look at anywhere between 9 and 2, that's probably where <laughs> – that will give you a better indication <laughs> sure, of what sure, people sure. like. And also apparently – and I looked a bit into this – a bunch of the reviews, the more negative reviews, and some are just like people mad about because there's black elves or whatever. Oh, okay, right. And there's also that. But uh, but IMDb are apparently deleting a bunch of these because Amazon owns IMDb. Oh. And I'm not surprised that that would be happening. It's Amazon. Of course they would, yeah, yeah. Be, they would be doing that. Think you the, count yourself lucky they're not deleting Amazon customers <laughs> who do not like. Yeah, or turning you into glue or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You specifically, Mason, I'm talking about. Oh, no, I don't want to be glue. Yeah, so I'm not, obviously. Amazon. My enthusiasm's back, James, <laughs> about not being turned into glue. <laughs> you found it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, I, I've, I've only watched the first episode, mm-hmm. and like, I honestly really enjoyed it. And it's also off the back of, we've been watching the Hobbit trilogy for Caravan of it's Garbage. True. Exhausting. <laughs> Just horrible, long, drawn out. Like, and every now and then you hit a good thing, and you're like, wow. Mm-hmm. But I, I, I really, I quite liked it. Mm. And look, I'm not really. I'm not – I don't know a lot about, like, the first or second age of Tolkien or whatever, and I don't want to know. So don't okay. don't email me, Mason, with your thoughts and okay, theories. Okay, I was going to. Yeah, if I'll ask anybody, it's my brother, the one you don't like. Terrific. And he'll tell me all about it. Mm. But I, I, I enjoyed it, and apparently a lot of people are saying the second episode is better. Oh, my goodness. But so – but, you know, but also a lot of people hate it because – Gladriel's got a sword and whatever. I don't, I don't, I don't, again. Hey, speaking of episodes, yeah. that's a good segue, but also mm. medieval, fake medieval stuff. Okay. Uh, we've got some egg on our face because we were like, nobody's going to care about this Game of Thrones prequel. Did we say that? Yeah, I'm sure we did. Oh, I did. Good. I yeah. certainly did. I'm like, oh, you know, people, it's, I, I was like, oh, the well's been poisoned for this, for this yeah. property. But it turns out the no. first episode came out and 10 million people watched it, I, which I is a good right number. Here, so, yeah, uh, it's HBO, uh, HBO's, HBO Max's, Biggest debut ever. Wow. Season two has already been confirmed. So the second episode also did better than the first, which is also really unusual. Yeah, Normally right. you'd see it like, like at d- least a, a bit downtick, of a deal. Yeah. Uh, look, I watched. So it's people skipping the first episode and then and all coming on board. I don't know what's going yeah, right. on there. Like I watched it, and I think maybe I'm just exhausted by Game of Thrones. There's a lot of news this week where you're exhausted. Yeah, I don't mean like this. Uh, like, I'm, I'm I'm having a good time. Also, I think yeah, I just right. we just hit three things in a row that I'm just <laughs> exhausted by, but that I also enjoyed. Great, but also in watching those episodes, I just feel like. I they don't they haven't given me anything that I haven't seen. Okay, but it's just characters that I don't know, and they're like, "This guy's betrayed this guy." And I'm but like, James, oh, has he? But James, in a way, when Game of Thrones came out, you didn't know any of those no. characters either. But I, I think feel like I just maybe it was because it was new. So and maybe you learn to new. love these yeah. this band of awful, awful people. Yeah, because it's like this inbred person hates this inbred person. I'm like, oh, do they? That's crazy. <laughs> but I guess the lesson here for me, at least, is. You never I, know what's on the pulse, Mason. Well, you don't. You, if, you know, the, the issue, if, you, if you're terminally online, which we are, it's often difficult to just determine what your, totally. regu- well, your regular Joe Lunch Pale is going to watch. And you the know? people that we interact with who, like, listen to the show or the, whatever. I don't interact with anyone. Okay. No, you said you're best friends with everybody who listens to this show. Oh, apart from them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are definitely in, like, a different kind of bubble mm-hmm. than a regular person. Mm-hmm. Um, but all my friends in my uh, terrible group chat, oh, they, sure. all, they all watched it. So, right. And they're, they're the litmus test for what does a normal awful person like, Mason? Terrific. <laughs> Anyways, here's something. You, they think you're a great bloke. <laughs> yeah. It's normal awful people like you and they don't know that you make fun of them. The best thing about this show is that nobody listens to it and I could just say anything about them. 
That's very true. Yeah, they also call me Mr. Sunday Night Movies because they don't know the name of this. I actually do. Terrific. Yeah. Anyways, do you know Embracer Group, Mason? 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 <laughs> do you know them? No. They're not your best friends? No. That's okay. That's good. So they're just like a big conglomerate. Okay. You know a thing Embracer buy- Group. Yeah, you know a thing buys another thing? Sure, yeah, 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 yeah. So they have purchased the rights, uh, the motion picture rights to Lord of the Rings. And that, sorry, not just motion picture, that includes video games, board games, merchandising, theme parks, stage productions. uh, Sorry, for not only Lord of the Rings, the trilogy, but also The Hobbit. They've bought this. Yes. But surely Amazon did come. That's a, already. Diff, that's a separate deal, I think, apparently, or it's linked anyways. But the reason I say this is because other opportunities include exploring additional movies based on iconic characters such as Gandalf, Aragorn, Gollum, Gladriel, Eowyn, and other characters from the literary works of J.R.R. Tolkien. So, okay. this is so going, you said movies as well, did you say? Yes, this is so going everything. To be, this is, the this whole, is going to be our future. Uh, so Embracer Group used to be Nordic Games, and they own like um, Gearbox. They own THQ Nordic. Okay. They own IDOS, Crystal Dynamics. Oh, yeah. So they're pretty big. They're a big, big company. I mean, they bought Lord of the Rings. So. They did buy Lord of the Rings. <laughs> well, look, I just want to establish their bona fides as a, like, yeah. they're not just like, it's just the guy in a shack. Yeah. You know, uh, who's like, um, who has a really good social media profile. And he's <laughs> like, I'll pay you. I'll pay you in a couple of weeks. You know, I got 30 days, right? I got 30 days to pay for this, right? Absolutely. Mm. So there you go. Uh, so I would love to see some more Lord of the Rings video games as well. Um, I played the first Shadow of War or Mordor, okay. one of them. But does this like mean it. then that Amazon's production of this and – They have the rights to I think everything except – I think they've got the rights to like The Hobbit also and Lord of the Rings, but they don't have any like the Silmarillion or any of the other stuff. Okay, right. So that's why they've picked this particular age – because there's oh, not a lot of Tolkien right. stuff in there. Okay. And that's why they can play a bit fast and loose with some of the stuff, okay, right. which is well, either good or bad depending on <laughs> what you think sure, yeah, yeah, about yeah. all of that. Uh, so there you go, Mason. Should we do some hot, quick news? Hot, quick news. Ben Kingsley will join Wonder Ow. Man. Ooh. Ooh. There he is. Who's Wonder Man now? It was Nathan Fillion in the movie. We don't know yet. We don't know Could yet. be Henry Cavill. Could be a different guy. Could be. Could be that Penn Badgley character. What's he up to? Yeah. Yeah, he's always murdering someone in that show, you, isn't he? I saw, always looking I saw through a, a keyhole I saw or a tweet uh, many years ago that was like, like Penn Badgley is a fake name you would give to a cop. <laughs> just, you just look. You just look at this like your shirt, and you're like, "Oh, Pen Badgley." <laughs> oh. that's very good, Mason. Yeah, but he could be ending there. Yeah, uh, yeah. So what, yeah. what was that? so Ben Kingsley? Yeah, Sir Ben Kingsley. So he's going to be Trevor Slattery. Yeah. yeah, right. That would tie into the the origin of Wonder Man. That he he's he, he, he's an actor, a thespian. Oh, he's a that's true. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And also, he's you know he's got it in for Tony Stark sometimes. So, oh no, so it ties it all together. But I think the acting thing is probably more likely. I think he's the, treading the boards. I think Destin Daniel Cretton, who directed uh, Shang Chi, is also working on that show. Cool, I believe. I like it. Uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan will join the Boys season four. Another mm. Eric Kripke alumni. Yes, because uh, Jensen Ackles, of course, came over from also from Supernatural. That's right. Uh, anything hot, quick, Mason? Oh, sorry. Ow. Jeffrey. Sweet, Settle down, down, mate. Francis Lawrence. Don't know who that is. Uh, he directed the Hunger Games movies. Oh, is he related even... to Jennifer Lawrence, who is in the Hunger Games movies? Yes, they are both related to each other. Huh. No. Maybe. No, but no. Uh, he is uh, he's going to direct the Bioshock movie, apparently. Ooh. Is it, though? Because, yeah. like, it's been, a, it's been a long time. Could like, be fun. Yeah, Gore Verbinski was going to It's not costing me point. any money, is it? Mm, I don't know, Mason. It will. If they bring it out, you'll have to go see it, won't you? That's true. You could always sneak in, though. So I want you to think about sneak that. In, you could yeah. plan something out between now and 20 years' time when this movie comes <laughs> yeah, that's out. That's right. No, it seems to be maybe moving ahead at this point. Who knows? Uh, <laughs> wow. Yeah. And the last bit of news is uh, that we got some first footage from The, uh, the Last of Us. All right. The yeah, we did. TV series. Mm-hmm. And it looks Great. Yeah, I think I only saw some stills, but it looks nice. No, we saw some snippets actually too, Mason. If you, there was a uh, HBO Max kind of trailer oh. and a, a, a big chunk of it was dedicated to The Last of Us. Pedro Pascal yes. was like, I'm sick of being The Last of Us. Or you're <laughs> The Last of Us. Now you'll be The Last of Us, <laughs> he says, pointing to the villain of the piece. Or the giraffe. Mm, that's right. <laughs> There's a giraffe bit. Uh, have you played that game? Yes. Because they just remade it. Like not like remastered, they entirely remade, remade it. it yeah, and released it. Yeah, it's on that Mate. treadmill of games that are going to be remade forever. <laughs> How do you get on that? 
I don't know. Yeah. Which like is Skyrim. Cool. Like it's just a – oh, that's not a – that's more just like they're putting it on every platform. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or Doom, which is they put it on literally every electronic device that is possible to put it on. Which Doom? New Doom? Old Doom? Old Doom. Original old Doom. They Doom. put on – they'll put it on a – they put it on a heart monitor or whatever. I went down like a bit of an a iPod. Yeah. I went down a, a rabbit hole in the holidays of just like looking into like the history of Doom and all the guys behind its software and how they all hate each other and <laughs> Great. whatever. And mm-hmm. then they one of them made Daikatana and yeah. the other one. John Romero made Daikatana. Yeah. yeah, that's where I'm up to. I'm like, I want to know more about this game I've never played. Did you ever play Daikatana? I don't think I did. I might have played like a demo disc because that was the era for that. It certainly was. But it? if I remember correctly, it was it was meant to be, you know, light years ahead of, of Doom, but it was just you had like a, AI companions that would just stand in corners and stuff, you know. So I'd like to die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We've come a long way, haven't we? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, busy in the corner making generative art or whatever. And a Wii. Yes. Uh, I forgot, actually, there's one more bit of news before we talk DC. Wow. Uh, Umbrella Academy is getting a final season. That's great. Amazing. I'm shocked. Astounding, isn't it? (laughs) Because, again, like this week, uh, you know, the the last month we saw the release of The Sandman. Yeah. Which uh, we'll probably talk about later. Yeah. Uh, and I loved it. Yeah, it's good, right? I thought it was great. Yeah. And then they had a bonus episode. Yeah, right. I loved it, Mason. Um. You know, there was Neil Gaiman and all the, the stars of the of the of the show and the producers and everybody was just on Twitter being like, "Okay, uh, we've we've it's been watched eleven million billion yeah, it's times, the biggest show of all time." But, it, but if you could please finish it, if you if you watched a couple of episodes, could you please finish it? Because otherwise, they'll be like this. This has, show has no value, and we will not get renewed. So, but he somehow made it so that he could take that somewhere else. Oh, Neil Gaiman did. It. Okay, great. So that's great. It's cool. Yeah, it's just. It's like beautifully made and well cast. Some real and... streaming musical chairs is is feels like it's on the verge of happening. I think yeah, a lot right, of people right. are going to be jumping ship from yeah. various streamers to other streamers. It's it's. I think we're going to get to a point where somebody's going to have like some streaming service. It's probably going to be Amazon. It's just going to be like we'll take yeah. we'll take all of this. Give me it, please. Give me it. Give me it. <laughs> So there you go. Anyways, Umbrella Academy. I'm glad they get a chance to to yeah, wrap that up. It's exciting. Um, good stuff. That news was so hot. It was too hot. Ah. Are you okay? Mm, my fingies. Maybe you could put them in a bucket of iced water. Okay, I'll do that. Yeah. Finally, use for this bucket of iced water I bring here every episode. <laughs> okay. Ah. Uh, to kick off this, um, this DC bonanza. And it is a bonanza, Mason. Sure. Um, That's one word you could use. <laughs> Maybe they could put that in their PR. This is actually a bonanza what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> so, and they're sending out emails to everybody. They're fired, being like, "Hey, if you could in your in your exit email, in your in your public statement, could you refer to what's happened to you as a bonanza, a big bonanza?" Mm. Uh, then people will think about the TV series Bonanza. That's right. So this is first bits via comicbookmovie.com, and we thought this was coming because we hadn't heard anything, but they said, with the return of in-person events, Warner Brothers Discovery is excited to be able to engage with fans live at numerous comic cons around the world and will not be scheduling DC (laughs) Fandom for 2022. What a twist at the end there. Why do you think they're not bringing any of their properties that they've either cancelled or in the middle of making or maybe there's somebody problematic in them or, you know, I don't know. What do you think they're probably, not? It's probably every reason you've mentioned there and probably more that have yet to come to light. <laughs> but the fact that they're just, you know, there are probably people out there who are like, they've made their costume for Fandome. They're like, I'm going to come as my favourite animated No, no, no. It, Fandome is online, Oh, it is Mason. online. I keep forgetting. Well, they're going to do it for the... Well, they know, asked us to make a costume for Fandome last yeah, that's year. that's right. We, we talked about All it. All these people have built, turned their car into the Batmobile. <laughs> So they can do some sort of video, free video promotion for, for Fando. If people are interested, they can go back to an episode from last year. I can't remember which one it is, but I got an insane email that was like, you, sh- you can f- stream Fando. Was it for money? I yeah, I think it was for what... money, but yeah. I don't remember. What, was it, it? How much was it? Well, we I didn't see remember. any of it, so. No, yeah. but it was like an insane amount of things to yeah. do mm-hmm. and prepare yeah. and like be enthusiastic about things. And, and yeah. it was when I went for like 12 hours. Yeah. yeah. But I am, I am, I, they're, they're not doing this because every day leading up to fandom will be another thing where they're like, yeah, we canceled another thing you like. <laughs> yeah. Just, just cause they don't have anybody running the show for now. We'll mm. get to it. I think yeah. we should start things off. And this happened about two days after we went on break, Yeah, but Batgirl, the movie, and this is like, this is oh, I'd even forgotten. I didn't really. Yeah. I hadn't forgotten because it's still. It was a month ago. Yeah, but it, it's unprecedented that they they've this nearly finished movie, which had a seventy five million dollar budget, which then grew to a ninety million dollar budget 
has been, it's all been filmed Mm -hmm. and it's completely scrapped. Yeah. Now, the the creators behind this were completely blindsided and were apparently not informed and found out when when we all found out. Mm -hmm. On the Weekly Planet podcast That's right. right now. <laughs> so, and apparently also from the, from the like, people who have seen it, mm-hmm. like Studio Insiders or fan screenings, and it's it's not good, apparently. I haven't it. seen it. Yeah, look, I've I heard. I don't know. I mean, we've, look, well, that's the thing. We've heard, I've heard mixed things. I, I mean, what is, what I think is. Has been heard it likened to a CW pilot. Yeah, but look, what I, th- what I think, one of the reasons that I sort of appreciate we took a month off is Every part of this has had time to evolve. Yeah. We've seen different, you know, this this whole situation, the merger and all this sort of stuff. We've seen a, a bunch of different situations here, like, you know, slowly transform over a period of days and things like that. But we've I've seen any number of responses to this. The one you said, like it's a CW show. Yeah. I saw one that said uh, it has roughly the same, like, audience response score is Black Adam. That's the other thing, but they're, yeah. But they're, but they're going ahead with Black Adam, but they're not going ahead yeah. with this. So for people who don't know, um, Warner Brothers was acquired by Discovery. Yep. Uh, yum, yum, yum. It's This is our famous segment, one big company buys another big company. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> and uh, and the the head of uh, Disco- Warner Brothers Discovery, the David new- Zaslav. Zaslav. I, yeah. I think we're mispronouncing that, but that's what we're going with. Uh, his job is apparently to More like Victor Zasmo. Um, oh, very good, like the m- m- murdery man. Yeah. His his yeah, job was yeah, appa- yes, yes. His job apparently was to uh, reduce costs within this merger by three billion dollars. Yeah, and the 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 plan thus far has been cancel everything and turn things into tax write offs, which is apparently what they're doing with Bad yes. Girl. If you if you if, essentially if you say it's an unsalvageable, unreleasable disaster. You can write it off as a yeah. loss and then you get a, a, a rebate. You get a, a multi-million dollar tax credit, I guess. You're exactly right. and Because that, that's the thing. Warner Brothers have released terrible things. Yeah. All studios do it yeah, all yeah. of the time. We all saw Morbius, mm. every one of us. That's every, right. And then we saw it again when they re-released it. So the idea is that they will get a $20 million tax write-off mm-hmm. from this. Because right. they, they thought at the end of the day, mm-hmm. we can make more money by losing seventy million dollars, mm-hmm. then marketing this and trying to gain everything right, yeah. back, so it's it's a it's a gamble essentially. Yeah. But here's the thing, though: if they do this, if they take this twenty million dollars, they cannot ever monetize it or release it in any form ever. It is lost media. You know, yes. In a way that I I thought we were past the era of kind of lost media. We're it, talking, I think it will resurface yeah, probably. eventually. We will, we, in the past, we've talked about, you know, the, the 1990s Fantastic Four movie, yeah. which was was made, you know, solely to retain a copy. But that was never copy. to be released. No, that's yeah. true. Yeah, but, but, you know, I thought, well, what, people aren't going to do that now, are they? But this is interesting that it's such a high profile yeah. thing. Um, well, they also scr- scrapped uh, Sco- they were, yeah, it was, yeah, sorry. Oh, sorry. Was, like they took sc- apparently Scoob Two, yeah. but that's maybe returning. Scoob Control, Scoob Control, that Batman animated series that uh, the new one from the original creators. Well, I was gonna, if we if we can hold on to that, yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah. say that the uh, uh, you know people said of this Batgirl thing, it, there was initially some fears that it had been entirely deleted, like all the footage had yeah. been erased. But apparently that isn't true because they 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 were doing like funeral screenings at at, yeah. at Warner Brothers. You know, the cast and crew got to watch what had been done. Yeah, interesting, right? Yeah. So basically, yeah, like I mentioned, they there's only a few things that have that are moving forward. One of them is uh well the one the stuff that is finished obviously. Yep. Joker two has been greenlit. Uh-huh. Uh just recently Brendan Gleason was also cast. That's right. The Batman two is probably happening, but everything else that hasn't already been made or is not currently happening, yes. for example, like Harley Quinn got renewed for season four, uh-huh. we don't really know. They even took a bunch of the of Sesame Street episodes off HBO Max. Yeah, wow. But it's weird that they're, they're gutting that app for some reason. Apparently some of it is due to uh, residuals and things like that. You, you, if you if you erase you know, a series, you don't have to pay the creators yes. anymore. Um, we've talked about this before, how they'll reboot stuff on Netflix. Mm. Did we talk about this here? Maybe. How they reboot stuff on Netflix so that then... Oh, we, talk, we certainly talk show. about it off air, but yeah. Yeah. So if it's like, you know, if it's, if it's, uh, oh, what, what, what example did we use? It was some, it was some like, uh, detective show. It was like, you know, it was like... Was it Bosch or something? Yeah, it was Bosch. Bosch got re, got re... Renamed Bosch Origins. <laughs> he's a he's a cop on the, the origins of, of, of Bosch's Bosch. butler. That's right. Because apparently, when you do that, and then they got then the, then it was the 
the same, exactly the same cast and essentially the same thing, except you, they don't have to pay like full residuals and benefits and yeah. and full probably Thank health God. insurance. Yeah, right? Exactly. I'm just thinking about the paperwork and that sounds like a nightmare to have to pay people for their work. Well, I, I had a thought about the paperwork, not that paperwork, but different paperwork. But I was just going to say the, what's interesting about a racing Batgirl is that I've got a tweet here from uh, someone at The Quiver about DC. I, I screenshot it at the time because I thought this was interesting. The Quiver like Green Arrow? Yes. Flash was originally releasing before Aquaman 2, yes. so they added a Michael Keaton cameo in Aquaman 2. Then Aquaman 2 was releasing first and the cameo confused test audiences, so they changed it for Ben Affleck. Yeah. Now Aquaman 2 releases after Flash again and none of it makes any sense. And, of course, the Keaton cameo in Batgirl is now gone as well. Maybe. I mean, yeah, if the movie's mm. gone, then the yes. The movie's definitely gone, yeah. You're absolutely right, yeah. Um, we'll, 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 we'll get into all of that because what variety say that they're looking for apparently – to steer this ship, to right to this wrong that, mm. they've, that they're doing and have been doing for a decade. And will continue to do. <laughs> Even though they say they're going to fix it, they're just going to continue to do it. Yeah. Um, uh, they're looking for Kevin Feige. And they found one in a man whose name is? Uh, Dan Lin. Dan Lin, there uh, we go. Not confirmed, but he's apparently a front runner. He's a producer. He worked on Lego Batman, Sherlock, the Godzilla Kong movies, uh, the It movies. He's got a really solid body of work. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's obviously like all producers, there's some stuff in here where you're like, yeah, that's not great or whatever. But uh-huh. like those properties alone, if not like very successful, like critically, at yeah. least commercially. But do they want someone to steer the ship or do they want someone to stand there and grin and say all the right things to the fans while they continue to sink the ship? Potentially. The but the other thing about this guy is he's like, if you're looking for Kevin Feige, He's a unicorn. You find him. He's got the hat on. Yeah, he's got the hat on. But he's a unicorn. Like he doesn't. He's he's not only like a very competent producer, but he has he, a passion for the. Specific he's a passion thing. for the stuff, and he knows the law inside out. So he knows kind of what fans will respond yeah. to. And I know people. We've talked about this. Are like, I don't like the way this phase is going on, or whatever. Whatever. I. But it's still doing well. Yeah. Whether or not that you you know whether you agree with any of that or not. Again, it, it's the terminally online people us versus people <laughs> who just go, yeah, this looks like fun. All I right. think I'll watch this. All right. Yeah, and also. I think there was some chatter, especially early on with the cancellation of Batgirl, that was like people going, "Oh well, you actually what they what they're doing here is they're gonna this is a this is a, a way to realign all the various DC universe and all this sort of stuff and build a you know mm. a continuous uh, narrative and streamline everything and all that sort of stuff." And I'm like, "No, it's not. <laughs> what it is is day one. This David Zaslav guy yeah. is just handed a big folder yeah. and it's got like one page summaries of all the stuff that other executives have predicted will not make that money." And he's just checking them off and cancelling them. Yeah. That's literally what he's not like, hmm, well, I see in this version that uh, we've got a Michael Keaton cameo from the 1989 <laughs> Batman movie, and that's not going to jibe with the the, mod, the Ben Affleck, you know, on the Snyderverse because we have Batfleck there, obviously. So what we're going to do is we're going to streamline that and we're going to res- hashtag restore the Snyderverse. And blah. He's not doing any of that. No. He doesn't care. No, of course he's, not. He's just- and have you ever had a new boss? They come in and they just gut. Whatever the previous well, exactly, person yeah, because <laughs> because if they release Batgirl, they will be blamed if it doesn't do well. Mm. Uh, but if they cancel it, doesn't matter. Like, Here's the thing, though. I was going to save this to the end, but I guess I'll talk about it now. You mentioned that he wanted to save three billion dollars, but in atten- in doing all this and all the the cuts, mm-hmm. the market cap, which is essentially like the ma- the value of this uh, Warner Brothers and Discovery, has gone down twenty billion dollars. Oh, but like that's. They go. It goes up and that's down. That's ethereal, that up in the air. Like, yeah. doesn't mean anything really mm-hmm. unless you sold the company at this exact right, yeah, point yeah. in time. You know, it's like it's. But it's just it's it's showing that this is. It basically means that all this is in flux and nobody knows yeah. what's what's. But I think happen. the larger issue, and maybe you've got it written down, is that this is going to shake creative confidence and and the creative creative people's willingness. Mason, I don't have this written oh, down. This is an original thought from oh, you. Oh, I knew it would happen one day. <laughs> All it took was a month off. <laughs> Time to recharge the batteries, you know? Get, yeah. I, got, I managed to get eight hours sleep. Wow. Over that, <laughs> over that, <laughs> that month. Um, but it's going to shake creative's confidence and being like, well, like anyone with any power is going to go, well, I could make it with Warner Brothers, but there's a chance that they will just – can it yeah before you know a week before it's due to come out or whatever and we'll never see it again so i'm not going to work with i'll go to sony or i'll go to whoever yeah i think legendary pictures have well that's cut the thing. ties with well christopher nolan jump ship and legendary who do uh the he group. didn't know this was coming he was just mad at them I think. no no he that yeah but that's all this is all related yeah though. yeah yeah but you know because they're basically trying to right the wrongs of the previous administration <laughs> by doing a whole lot of other things which are also seemingly terrible ideas <laughs> but yeah legendary pictures who did the godzilla kong and 
Pacific Rim and they've got a bunch mm. of other stuff that has actually been carrying a lot of the Warner Brothers, like the IP. Yeah, right. Because a lot of their stuff they're making internally, including the superhero stuff, is not hitting. Yeah, right. You know? Uh, and speaking of Mason, yep. this is via Variety. It was an article uh, that they wrote that was called From Batgirl Fallout to Rebooting Superman, All the Landmines Facing the Next oh, no. DC Chief. Yeah. And here's the, one of the opening quotes. Whoever takes- I mean, he's, he, when they say landmines, mm. I mean, he's not going to get any landmines. His interns are going to cop all the landmines. You know the guy I mean? who's the new Kevin Feige Well, both guy. Zaslav and the new guy. They're, no, this is the new guy. Yeah, right, right. I feel yeah, Zaslav yeah. is just going to cop a huge bonus and then he's going to leave. <laughs> yeah. Because right. he doesn't care about yeah, any of this. Yeah, go to I think General he's... Electric or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, So whoever takes the equivalent of the Feige job at DC will, uh, by contrast, inherit a Justice League site, very good, sized uh, series of preconditions, entrenched systems and PR migraines on top of the stupendous task of building a slate of film and TV titles that could equal the MCU. Here are a few of the challenges ahead. Uh-oh. Okay, you ready for some of this? Yes. Now, we, we can spend 40 minutes on each of these or I can just go, I can just <laughs> okay. breeze through Let's see on. if any any strike our fancy see here. We got, see if we've got now 40 minutes in us for any, for any of these. Okay, right, great. Here we go. Uh, so, obviously, dealing with the, the, the Batgirl fallout. Mm-hmm. And we've talked about that already. Have we talked about the apps? HBO, they're, they're getting rid of HBO Max. They're, yeah. They're integrating it into Discovery+. Plus. They did that weird... Um, I don't know if you saw it, the weird um, PowerPoint presentation where they're like, HBO Max, scripted action for boys. You know that one? <laughs> yeah, it's did, Discovery, yeah. unscripted. Girl, whatever. Like, yeah. I can't, but it was like, are you are you kidding me? It's 2022. <laughs> are you like, well, there's a girl's channel and a boy's channel action. Yeah. That doesn't feel like it's based on any no. research or anything. That, that feels like it's based on just what one guy reckons. <laughs> <laughs> and as I was mentioning before, like a lot of this stuff, they're like, you know, the, the the predictions of whether something is going to be popular or not or make money or not, mm. that's that fluctuates wildly yeah. in a lot of instances. Like maybe something will, will tank and maybe it will do well. But a lot of the – I imagine a lot of the stuff that has been recommended get, gets cancelled. Mm. That recommendation is based on the biases of the people – making that recommendation. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. like, it's like um, when – who was it? The the guy at Marvel who sucked. I mean – Which one? The the guy who thought uh, Black Panther would oh, sell. Oh, uh, Ike Perlmutter? Ike Perlmutter. Yeah. He was like, well, this isn't going to do it well. And then they turfed him and it made a billion dollars. <laughs> like, I'm not saying that Batgirl will work the same way. I, we, we don't know if it's yeah. any good or not. But just the idea of, like, well, we shouldn't take a chance on this because of my personal reasons why I don't like this character. No, not saying what it is, yeah. but – But it's also the tax thing. Also the tax thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, you're, you're right about that because also apparently they the, – This just won't sell. You don't know. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Then the demographics they want to shift towards are more like – and this is more in, t- in the interpretation than something they've directly said, that they're looking for like less diverse kind of properties. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's what – speaking to what you were talking about, those two kind of core groups that they think they're targeting yeah. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, but the, the Zaslav, he was like – I'm actually gonna. I'm actually gonna hire based on talent, and not on uh, not on diversity. Yeah, good stuff. It's just a coincidence <laughs> that all all the executives I've hired are white. And that's the thing. Like, I want to. I want to see like your standard stuff. Your Batman's, your mm. Superman's, your Wonder Woman's. I want to see all that, but I also want to see different stuff. Sure, yeah. Like, I'm a I'm a straight white guy, and I'm proud of it, Mason. I don't oh, care no! what you say, <laughs> but I, who doesn't want to? I mean, I know a lot of people don't, but. I want to see different I'm, things yeah. from different creators, yeah. from different backgrounds who have different experiences. Whenever I see anybody who's, you know. I don't want to see Batman 400 times. Right? I'm, I, that, my thought is always, aren't you bored by this? <laughs> yeah. Like, this anyway. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, I'm mad about it, I guess. Mostly. Yeah, yeah, we're all mad. Anyways, the other thing is they have to manage ongoing. This is the one person, Nick, this Kevin Feige. Yeah. Uh, ongoing and unconnected film and TV projects. This includes Joker 2, Batman 2, the Penguin spinoff, Arkham Asylum, sp- uh, the Arkham Asylum spinoff, which is cancelled potentially, maybe. Oh, maybe. Uh, Peacemaker, Harley Quinn, Doom Patrol, J.J. Abrams is apparently developing Constantine and Madame Xanadu. Uh, Pennyworth, Blue, Pennyworth, Pennyworth, the origin Blue of Blue Beetle. Blue, but, yeah, Blue Guy in I, Pennyworth. Yep. Yeah, I think the CW was maybe finishing soon. I don't know. Seems like it's wrapping up. Yeah. yeah. Superman and Lois. Yeah, Superman and Lois. So all of these different things. And the other thing is, like, all of these different people, all of these different projects are run by different people in different departments. Mm. And so I, there's no – you can't manage that as a single person. Oh, I could do it. Okay, you're probably right. I could do – if they were like, you could, can you manage this? You'll get $50 million. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, I, you know, yeah, I could definitely do it. People who can't manage it are people who've gotten used to the idea they're getting fifty million dollars, and they're like, "Oh, I can't, I can't handle all this." I reckon I could. I reckon, I reckon you've made too much money, and your brain doesn't work anymore, and you think that's hard, but it's not if you get fifty million dollars. Yeah, you could just do, like just half ass it, even. Yeah, <laughs> I mean they're half assing it already. They yeah, they yeah. quarter ass it. But just keep doing it. So were you were you going to mention uh, the the Cape? What is it, Cape Crusader? Which one? Oh yeah, the, yeah, yeah, it was yeah the JJ Abram, no, JJ Abrams, JJ Abrams, Matt, Matt Reeves, and Bruce Tim, Paul, Bruce Tim, yeah. What a slam dunk that they're cancelling for no well, reason. Well, they're not cancelling it. They're just apparently they're shipping it around to other networks. So yeah. Netflix are interested, Apple are interested. Yeah, this is a cost cutting thing, so they yeah. can sell it to somebody else and be like, we made this much money, presumably by licensing this property yeah, out. Right. To, like because Apple would pay for this. They don't yeah. care. They got like infinite yeah. money. Else, all these companies have, have infinite money. It doesn't. That's true. It doesn't matter to them. Mm. So, the, but the idea it could that, go to Disney Plus. It could. As we, I think we. I don't I mean, know. Probably not, but it could. Yeah. yeah. As we, I think maybe we talked about this off air, but not on air. Apparently the the TV rights to Batman have always been they they're all they've been shrouded in mystery because they were they were te- they technically were owned by Fox in the 60s because Fox produced the Batman the and series. Robin the Adam oh, West okay. Burt Ward TV series so and now Marvel and Disney own Fox oh. so they might have the the right. I didn't know That's that. why you never see. I only learned this recently. The question has always been: Why isn't there just a Batman TV series? People would love to see a. You Batman could call TV. it Batman. You could call it Batman. <laughs> Batman's here, everybody. Batman's here. <laughs> but apparently, and it's 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 apparently shrouded in mystery. Nobody talks about it, and all the people that did it originally are dead, and all that sort of stuff. But and nobody might really know who. No, nobody you'd have might. Because re- you'd have to. There'd be a huge legal to, challenge. Like, yeah, you'd have to kind of get into it. And yeah, like pick it apart. The it's reason, like unscrambling yeah, an egg. Yeah. But the, the reason people. The, uh, pe- Maybe the reason that they there isn't a Batman TV series on the regular because people would watch that and it's just spin-offs and side characters and whatever is because Fox own it and DC DC can't move without their approval and Fox can't move without DC's approval. Mm. So that's why like What happens if an impenetrable object meets in another ob- object that's impenetrable, Mason? Splat <laughs> is the answer. They're two big splats. We get killed in the middle. We get killed in the middle. But that I guess if you you haven't seen Titans, but no. there's a there's there's a couple of Robins in that, and they also cast Batman. And you're like, why isn't there just a Batman and Robin team up in that? It it, it might be against the law. Yeah, like it might be the the letter of the jail. The letter of the contract might be like you can't have Batman and Robin fight crime on TV in a live action situation, which is why they're always separate. Yeah, in the show. That's interesting, right? Yeah, because I I for the longest time thought it's because they were preserving that IP for like premium theater mm. experiences. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, it's. It's legal stuff. Yeah, I mean, if they can do Superman. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. I think, I think it is legal stuff. Maybe there's somebody out there or maybe there's a uh, YouTube. If somebody has a YouTube video or a podcast, an in-depth thing that really gets into that, let us know. Send Mason a TikTok. Send me a TikTok about it. it. Yeah. Yeah, and a dance. That's yes. a bit, you have to do <laughs> a little right. dance, obviously. Uh, we haven't even talked about this, but The Flash. So while we're away, Ezra Miller went on a real tear. Yeah. Uh, and a got, bonanza, James. Please. A bonanza. <laughs> I think that was the official yes. word from the studio. We're calling it a bonanza, folks. Yeah, obviously having some kind of mental break, numerous allegations of like assault and grooming. Old-timey guns. Old-timey guns, uh, fleeing the law. Yeah, starting all, a cult. Starting a cult, uh, all of these things. Uh, and, uh, a weird non-apology at the end there. Yeah, there was a weird non-apology where Ezra came out and said, look, I'm, I'm a different person now or whatever. No, it wasn't that specific. It was like I'm, I'm moving forward from these things in my past. Oh, this is and like this just happened. This is this was yeah. yesterday. This isn't even the the only like non apology tour. Oh yeah, Shia month. LaBeouf There's, in the middle of one. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, and the a idea, rare return of Shia LaBeouf news. That's right. And the idea behind the Flash was, and you talked about this, is it's supposed to reset the universe um, all the way back to 2013's Man of Steel. Mm. So they're basically doing what they did in Flashpoint. Oh, the phones it, are going to be old. That's right. The Flashpoint movie. Oh God, imagine. Oh God. All the phones are going to be operating on Flash. Wow, that's yeah. good, Mason. Mm-hmm. All the phones will be old, like that movie Samaritan, which we watched yesterday together. Mm. <laughs> it's true. We did a rare watch a thing just for us. Yeah. But I guess we're going to talk about I'll it. Turn it into content, though. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, the idea was to reset the DC universe and maybe bring in a new Superman and now Keaton is Batman and, ba- and Affleck is out. But as you mentioned, Aquaman 2 was supposed to come out before that uh-huh. or after, I can't remember, but whatever it is, Ben Aff- they've changed it so Ben Affleck has been seen. He was spotted on set, mm. leaked apparently. I don't believe that. 
I don't believe that that was a legitimate you don't think, way. You don't think but, Jason Momoa just did it because he's very enthusiastic? Well, because apparently some fans went past and they saw Ben Affleck probably oh. smoking out the front of his yeah, trailer right. or whatever. But I just – I think if you're hiding that stuff, mm-hmm. it's – you just you, – they know how to hide stuff. I just sure think, I don't think it's an accident. Warner Brothers, we know how to hide stuff. <laughs> we've, hit, we've hit a bunch of stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's a bonanza of hiding stuff. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, I think also the Flash has cost too much money mm-hmm. and it's too much of a linchpin of maybe changing everything and they think they can make money off it so they're not going to throw that out. And now that Ezra Miller is on their apology tour, yeah. they're they're ramping up to – like they won't, I'd imagine, appear in any of the press or maybe very limited uh-huh. and then Keaton will do the rounds yeah. and the movie will come out and then they'll dump Ezra Miller like a hot bag of flaming poop, Mason, That's correct, at the doorstep yeah. of Disney. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, Disney and Kevin not. Feige's coming out there. He's, like, oh, he's got his cup of coffee. He's like, boy, time to enjoy my day. Ooh, better so stamp this out. That's odd going. We'll be uh, – We'll be circling back to that, no mm. doubt, between this and that movie coming out at the end of next year or mid next year. I Maybe remember. I don't know. Some optimal. It, they might. I reckon there might be a, a sudden date change yeah. if they realise there is an optimal date to drop it and. Avoid controversy. And they can like call- maybe something scandalous happens in the world of Marvel. Yeah. They're like, well, let's knock this out real quick. And they can also call it Batman Flashpoint. They sure can. Oh, they sure can, yeah, yeah. That's what I would do. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and the other thing is. Batman shh point. Yeah. Shh, don't shut up. Shut up about it. <laughs> uh, Superman. Like what are they doing? What are they doing? We don't uh, know. It, apparently they want to bring back Cavill. We talked about this. Yeah. Remember we talked about in our last episode – we got an email that was like, Cavill's got COVID. Oh, yeah. And he was supposed to come to Comic-Con and then he didn't. Didn't that turn out to be true? And it turned out that he did have COVID. Correct. And we got yelled at, Mason, on a bunch of Reddit threads. By by what? <laughs> by people saying we were wrong? or No, it was just before it came out that he had COVID. Huh. And then it came out he had COVID and then people were like, oh, maybe this is true. But we don't know whether he's in it. I think he's in it. Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean that he's going to be Superman in the future necessarily. Sure. Mm-hmm. But I think The Rock is like... I'm the linchpin of this universe now, bitch. And uh, <laughs> don't pin all this on the rock either, please. I don't want a rock-centric DC universe. Too bad. <laughs> That's what it is now. <laughs> I mean, there's other properties is what I'm saying. But uh, anyway, so do you bring Cavill back? And then there's also J.J. Abrams is doing, uh, with uh, Ta-Nehisi Coates, is doing a, a version of Superman also, which oh, yeah, might right. be mm-hmm. Val Zod or... Or cancelled. Or, or cancelled. Or, or cancelled. Be, because apparently Warner Brothers have also been really upset with J.J. Abrams' output when Bad Robot came on board to develop properties because they haven't developed anything ah. yet. <laughs> we talked about this. Sure. Uh, that wasn't in the article, but that's just something that did happen. Mm. The other thing is... Uh, what are they going to do with Wonder Woman 3 and Green Lantern? That show might be cancelled, the HBO Max one? Yeah. Uh, maybe? I mean, if they're cancelling HBO Max. And there's other characters apparently they wanted to work into live action inclu- um, movies, including Green Arrow, Martian Manhunter, Man and apparently a panoply uh, of other Justice League characters. Do you like how I said that, basically? Yeah, I did. I enjoyed it very much. <laughs> First time saying it? Yeah, What'd terrific. I liked it. It was a good right, first effort, good. I think. Uh, have they considered replacing all those characters with Black Adam, Black Adam, and Black Adam? Mm, from no? different universes or nope, they're, so they're brothers? The same. Mm. Or same guy? Yeah, same guy. He's just a different day. He gets the machine from um, the Hugh Jackman had. In, yeah, sure. Multiplicity, done. <laughs> he gets from Michael Keaton. He gets from Michael Keaton. No, I think it's just different days. Yeah. Or at the same day, he's just like, I've okay. got to do some Green Lantern stuff now. Wow, terrific stuff, Mason. I pack, a, I pack more into my morning than most people do all day. Yeah. I'm yeah. The Rock. Yep. I'm just calling myself The Rock now. My character's <laughs> called The Rock. It's not Black Adam anymore. I can do what I want. I'm the linchpin of this universe. It's true. The other thing is um, this new DC chief apparently won't have the same kind of broad authority that Feige enjoys. It's said that person will have to be adept at navigating the egos and ambitions of other executives whose interests might not always align. That re- that could require a near superhuman ability. So yeah, I Here's that- my prediction. This isn't going to work. <laughs> I think we've talked about this before. They want, they want a Kevin Feige but not a – who has – Incredible creative output, but also they can push around yeah. and doesn't have actu- any actual say. Yeah. And they're just going to ignore because it, it's a cost-cutting cost exercise. I think exercise. Th- the smart move here would be to pair it right back and just go, you are Kevin Feige of movies. 
Everything else is its own thing. Yeah, right. And let that fall apart or succeed mm. however it however it's made. Here we've made you a little plaque for your desk. It says you are Kevin Feige <laughs> of movies. Can I can I put my own name on there? No. Never. No, 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 no. And the other thing about Kevin Feige is that we've replaced the photo of your family <laughs> with a picture of Kevin Feige. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing is just a series of little Kevin Feige's <laughs> with different hats on. The other thing is Kevin Feige built out the MCU slowly. Yes, like he worked on. Uh, maybe people don't know this, but he was producer on a bunch of the X Men movies right. and Spider Man, like a minor player. Mm, yeah, yeah. And then he had a backstab his way to the top. That's right. Apparently, very nice and did very well. Mm-hmm. And then. I think it was with Avi Arad he did the early MCU movies. Yeah, right. So like Iron Man and then he was pushed aside. And then it came, became With like, some knives in his back. Yes. Uh, no, he did the right thing. Yeah. And then and then slowly the MCU was like a movie a year, two movies a year. There's no movies this year. Mm-hmm. Avengers and slowly then. Throw it, Black Widow in where we can. Right. And then they do like there was ABC and Netflix stuff, but he didn't really do anything with that. He just focused on the movies, and then it slowly built out into the Disney Plus era and whatever. Mm-hmm. So it didn't ha- he didn't inherit all of this all at once. That's true. He helped build it out. Whereas yeah. this is like he's a million broken things. Yes. What can you do with this? Yeah, yeah. Can you can you fix this in a week? Because <laughs> we're cutting them if you can't. We're cutting them and firing you. <laughs> yeah. And the other thing, uh, this is the one at the end. It said winning over fans. But apparently, privately, studio insiders have lamented that Zack Snyder's Justice League never should have happened. Rather than uh, than quite the uneasing, uh, sorry, the unceasing un- online campaigning of release the Snyder Cut, the four-hour HBO Max feature only further entrenched the vocal and extremely online sm- Snyderverse fan base in, op- in opposition to the leadership of the studio in general and at DC in particular. So basically, they they wish they didn't do that. <laughs> And look. And if you wish upon a star, maybe it happens sometimes. I'm glad we saw it. Me too. But I completely understand. Like, the fact that, did they think they were going to release that and then that would stop? They couldn't have. Well, I I think. It ends on a cliffhanger. But also I think that any of the people in the, the, the upper echelon of people making decisions would have thought that it would end. But I think people... Again, us grubs on the internet yeah. would know. Like us, anybody, uh, anybody, with, anybody below that level would go. Of course, it's not going to stop. Yeah, you've given, you've caved, and they'll just keep going. But you don't know anything about the internet. Yeah. So, and also the other thing, you don't is, know how the internet's going to react to things, which is why you did all this cancelling and cost cutting. And at this point as well, Snyder's he's gone. Yeah, he's doing Netflix, Star Wars, mm. and whatever oh, yeah, else, and Rebel that, maybe Moon. Army of the Dead, and whatever. Mm. And uh, the other thing is, a lot of people don't like his universe or movies. Mm-hmm. So even if they got him back, you're still going to upset everybody anyway. So they're really, they're, they're fucked either way, aren't they? That's true. But I don't think they, they want to work with him. Anyways, due to all of this and the budget cuts and yada, yada, yada and tax dodges and people being fired and whatever, Warner Brothers can only afford to release two movies this year now. One of them is Don't Worry Darling, which is currently having its own situation. Oh, my goodness, it sure <laughs> is because there's Shia LaBeouf news yeah. and, and there is... Harry Styles' accents. Oh, yeah, there's that one scene which may sink this movie all by itself, which is fascinating. And the director, Olivia Wilde, is on the outs with Florence Pugh, who's yeah, also apparently. in it. This, this feels like we're, we're tumbling into, like, grubby little <laughs> little gossip here. But uh, it's interesting. And and Shia LaBeouf went on... He's on his apo- John Berenthal. He went, he went on John Berenthal's podcast. Yeah. Uh, side note, I didn't know he had one. I'm glad... Look... He's gone. John Bernthal's gone the absolute bare minimum because his oh, podcast. I like him. Yeah, but his podcast called it's called Real Ones with John Bernthal. Mm. I'm just glad he didn't just call it the John Bernthal podcast. <laughs> I think, I think that if you're a celebrity and you're thinking about getting on our turf and yep. doing a podcast, you should have to go to a place and register it. And they say, "What's it going to be called?" And they, and if you say it's going to be called My Name Podcast, yeah, you, you get a you get uh, on the blacklist and you can't do one anymore. They hit you in the head with a pool cue. But also I think his podcast should have been called Let's Get Personal with John Bernthal. <laughs> but it's it's not. But if that's a free idea if you want to change it. But <laughs> I do want to change it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, that for me? To, to yeah, if you want to change this podcast name. Um, but, yeah, he just – he went on – among other things, he said. Remember, he he released a movie called Honey Boy, which is yeah. it's it's about his childhood as a child star and supporting his family. And his father is he plays his own father, and his father is quite abusive in the movie. Mm. Apparently, he made it all up, or maybe like, or maybe his dad was like, "Oh, that was why'd you say that?" Yeah, and so he's like, "I don't know, maybe it's not true or whatever." Yeah, did you know that John Bernthal is is uh, the lead in? There's a new American Gigolo series. Yes, and he's the titular Gigolo. <gasps> 
jiggling around, which is I what I assume gigolos do. Incredible stuff, yeah. Mason. Yeah. Uh, and the other movie is Black Adam. Oh, yeah, great. <laughs> which is, by all accounts, as good as Batgirl. Yeah, and it's going to change the something, something power, something, something the, DC universe. They released that Dr. Fate poster. They did. And it looks good. His, arm, his helmet looks nice. I agree. A little interesting new take. It's kind of asymmetrical. I liked it. I don't know how you could fix all of this because – in me putting together these notes. I could fix it for $50 million. Yes, I know you could. Yeah. But in me putting together these notes. And US, like, by the way. Yeah, and yeah. That's after tax. <laughs> Whatever it costs, figure it out. What a, The amount to give me so that one that you take the tax It would out, be around probably $73 million. Yeah, yeah, all right. US. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and yeah. I don't want to do it either. Yeah. You pay the tax man <laughs> to do it and I'll take the You're 50. being, yeah they, yeah, they pay the tax man directly and then you get the tax-free lump of yeah, yeah. sum of money. In gold. Yeah, okay. No, 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 no. That no, one. no, you want, you want Bitcoin. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you? No. Okay. Uh, but no, in putting this together, like in being like, what do I put in? What's true? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nightmare. I bet. And I just, I, I, it took me like a few days to kind of like go through everything yeah. just to, to get to this because point. As, I can't even imagine per, actually physically yeah. dealing with this. As per usual, as soon as any of this stuff happens, we we do encounter like a lot of instant experts on on you know social media and stuff, and it's often difficult to un- like yeah. I, whenever somebody goes like, oh well, actually they've lost a billion trillion dollars in this because uh you know they they made it. It's like what's your source on that? You know yeah. what I mean? It's like I, they it it'd be nice to think that in doing this they sank themselves, but probably not. Probably you know? not, Mason. Anyways, uh, we also had a couple other topics that people want us to talk about because we put it on yeah. uh, Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Group. One of the topics that uh, did very uh, did Oh, we done well with was, uh, we done with Warner I Brothers? I think that's it, mate. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> My God. As I'm long in... as Pennyworth is safe is yeah, all God. I'm saying. I know, right? And the blue man. <sighs> yeah. I just want some. We need a we need a new. We, do we got to fit? We got to end this war. We need a group, a blue man group. <laughs> 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 well, look, okay, look at the positives. Yes. We're getting a The Batman 2 probably. Mm-hmm, yep. Superman something. Superman something. That's good. That is good. Uh, Peacemaker's still going. Yeah, great. Harley Quinn's will be season four. Yeah. Batman animated something. Yeah. So those things are good. That's enough stuff probably, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And Black Adam, obviously. And they'll probably cancel Blue Beetle because all <laughs> we've seen is that one set. Like if you said Black, Apparently not. If you said Blue Beetle's not real, I think a lot of people will be like, yeah, we saw one <laughs> Photo could have been at, at like at a comic con of a guy in suit. Yeah. It's pretty good, but no, no. Apparently, very much moving forward. Okay, great. That's good. Uh, but anyway, in the polls, because we were people like, "What do you put in yeah, the yeah. polls?" One of the higher things were um, what adventures Mesa had on break. Just went to work. Yep. Also, we ran re- into Will Anderson. Oh, in, yeah. in, in the city. How's he going? He's good. He was filming a special. Nice. At, uh, at, uh, Hamer Hall or something. I don't know. Very good. Having a nice time. <laughs> That's a big venue. How did he feel? He was that he was walking down the street. And he had a mask on. Yeah. And he's quite tall and lanky, yeah. as you know. And I'm just like. So Will Anderson and I stared at him so long and then the man started to approach me and I'm like, oh, I've stared at this man long enough that if it isn't Will Anderson, he's going to beat me up. <laughs> but it was Will Anderson. We had and a nice he did chat. beat you I up. Beat, he beat me up. He beat me up. That's a big venue. Yeah. How does he fill the venue? He's the Because he's famous and successful. He's one of the best comedians in Australia. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that'll do it, I guess. That'll do it, I guess. <laughs> And very nice also. Yep. Yeah. And yeah, so and we also we reset our sleep schedules for now. That's true. Oh, I also ran in a bunch of listeners just, just there you out, go. out in the world, you know. Did I run into anybody? I don't know. Hmm. I, I didn't I lay low. Yeah. Um, that's true. And I was in Fiji for a bit. Uh and also the, why you thought it was okay to abandon your cult for a month. I don't know. People can handle themselves, <laughs> I reckon. <Yeah. laughs> they, they, they go out and create a new cult, you know? Exactly. Make your own cult. <laughs> Jesus. All right, Mason. Yes. Do you know what it's time for? Is it time for what we're reading? Yep. What we're going to read. It absolutely is time for that. That's right. No new segments except for the ones that I made up earlier that I've already forgotten. Um, One bit of news where I sung it. Yeah, and the no, other oh, thing. yeah. That, and the, the thing, thing where I went yum yum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm doing the thing. <laughs> Mason, this is the segment of the show where we talk about things that we've been reading, watching, or listening. Now, I've done a bunch of stuff uh, over the holidays that I've looked into. Mm-hmm. Suggestible is back. Sitting on the beach. Very true. Mm. Uh, Suggestible is back, the podcast I do with my wife, my less successful podcast, where mm. we talk about recommendations. Um, that came back on Thursday, and I talk about a few things there. Whoa. Um, I've also, like. Give me an example of one thing. One, I read a poem? Mickey or Seven, Mason. I read it's the Mickey book. Seven. It's, uh, it's a book, and it's. Is ba- it the sequel to Lucky Number Slevin? Yes, it is. Wow. That was actually called The Wrong Man in Australia, Mason. That's right. That's a little known fact <laughs> that I know you already know. I knew it. <laughs> it's true. I knew um, it. So people wanted to talk about Prey. 
Uh, Sandman I'd love to talk about. I'd, I'd, I'd like to talk about more of Lord of the Rings and a bunch of other things that I watched. But Something that jumped out yeah. that we didn't mention, there's a new George Miller movie out. We mentioned oh, yeah, 3,000 Le- Years of, Johnny. of Longing. Johnny. <laughs> 3,000 Years of Johnny. Yeah. The sequel to 3,000 Miles to Graceland. <laughs> Uh, about Idris Elba is in it, and Tilda Swinton apparently didn't. Do, it's done very poorly. It's yes. made like twenty bucks, but good should, maybe. I hear it's very good. We should, should maybe there, check yeah. it out, yeah, and see yeah. if see if it's worth an episode. Yeah. Anyway, so what we thought we'd do instead of being like doing you know thirty seconds on prey, which I really enjoyed, mm-hmm. is maybe we come back to a bunch of these things. We'll be yeah, like, it, we'll do it like later in the year. Be like, mm-hmm. is five to ten minutes on something that we watched that we haven't talked about yeah, extensively? Because what we want to talk about right now is the movie Samaritan. <laughs> oh, yeah. Actually, before we do that, um, before I forget, did we both watch the TV series The Bear? I'm, I'm five into The Bear. I'm also about five into The Bear. Love so The that's Bear. That's exciting. Yeah, so that's recently come to Australia. That feels on, like a suggestible uh, show to talk about. That's why I'm saying well, maybe we'll mention it here, but, yeah, it's too late. <laughs> yeah. It's locked yeah, yeah, in. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's really good, right? Yeah, it's incredible. It's uh, just a uh, – I was describing – How are you going to get that bear out of the kitchen? I don't know. We shouldn't <laughs> have let it out on that bridge. <laughs> uh, for people who don't know, it's a it's – a, a live action drama series. What I had, I had a friend of mine described it as uncut gems, but in the sandwich industry. And there's a bear in the kitchen. There is a bear in the kitchen also. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's just really good. It's, yeah, it's uh, just uh, just a it's about a, a man who returns to Chicago mm-hmm. to run the sandwich shop that his brother owned, but his brother died, so he has to come in and take it over. And it's he's he's left him in a lot of debt, and there's yeah there's uh, there's there's people after him, but there's also People are for him in the in the sandwich shop because like that to, bear, like the bear, obviously, but also the people that are you know he's 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 new employees that yeah. don't respect him and uh, it's just just that good. bear keeps knocking things over. That bear keeps <laughs> knocking things over, and and you know there's the, the there's a moment I related to in there where he's you know he's he's got no money, he's got to sell like his precious collectible denim. Oh, yeah, but yeah. the bear's torn it up with its sharp claws. You so wouldn't get as much of wouldn't that. Wouldn't get as much. Because of the bear. Unless you had like a TikTok of the bear destroying your jeans, you'd probably get more for what it. What if you could sell the bear? Yeah, maybe, but he doesn't want to. That's the, you know. What do you call the show then? That's true. A man selling a bear. <laughs> or a man <laughs> who sold the bear already. The man who sold the bear <laughs> that he was in his kitchen. Yeah. It's just good. Just it's just good to watch yeah. a drama that doesn't have lasers. I mean, it's got a bear. Yeah, but that's pretty. That's pretty <laughs> mundane for the shows that we watch. Yeah, of, that's you know. right. Yeah, it's a guy. the The main guy used to be in Shameless. Yeah, recently. I didn't know that. No, I yeah. didn't watch that either. Yeah. Um, good show. I agree. Anyway, we watched Samaritan yesterday. Oh yeah, which is the uh, Amazon Prime premiering Sylvester Stallone movie. Uh, Spoilers. It's a it's a spoilers it's, basically. Okay, it's a superhero movie, <laughs> a, so, sort of in the loosest possible sense. Yeah, the bear is more of a superhero show because it's got a bear in it. <laughs> um, yes. uh, okay, so what do you think the story was? Basically? Okay, so in the in the movie Samaritan, long uh, years ago, yep. there were two superheroes. Yep, who looked largely identical, masked superheroes because they're twins. They're twin brothers. And their suits are twins. Their suits are twins. <laughs> sort of. And 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 one of them is a real paragon of virtue. He's Samaritan. And yep. one's and one's a superhero, but he's mean and he's nemesis. And he and wants they, a, he wants to build a hammer. He wants to build a hammer. And then then they both die in a fire. Yep. But then this little kid, he lives in the city of Gr- Granite City. Yep, real lives place. In, lives in Granite City and, and he sees Sylvester Stallone and he thinks maybe that guy's Samaritan. Is that Sylvester Stallone, he says? Yeah, mm. but it's not. It's it's a guy. He's, it's just, a, he's just a guy. He's like, I'm a garbage. but I, I'm a regular man. And I just like collected stuff out of the garbage. <laughs> That's me. I'm yeah, guilty. I take, <laughs> take stuff out of the garbage. Guilty. If you if if that's a crime, I'm guilty. <laughs> I think it might be. I think it sometimes is a crime, yeah, <laughs> which isn't very cool, is it? Get out, get out of here. Get out of here, kid. <laughs> he's, he's strong though, isn't he? He's a strong man. It appears as if he has some superpowers. Superpowers. And it's because he's Samaritan. I mean, why would he, he, why would he, why would you stick around in this? Because everybody's like, where's Samaritan? This kid's always like, I think that guy's Samaritan. Yeah. And he's, but you just leave the city. Yeah, you Why would. wouldn't you leave the city? And also. He's like, I don't want to help nobody no more. Well, leave the city then. This is a non-superpowered universe except for that guy. Yes. And it's not really explained why. Except for ex- maybe the bad guy who maybe gets powers somehow. Because he gets the hammer. Right. Because Samaritan, no, the bad Samaritan, bad Maritan. Yes. Builds a, a, a hateful hammer. Yes, So he, he can smash his brother's head in Nemesis with it. and his hateful hammer, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, uh, and they both die apparently, but guess what? It's Samaritan's lives, but guess what? Again, spoilers. It's not Samaritan. It's the evil one lives, but it turns out the evil one is not that evil. He well, just, see, that's the thing he likes about regular this, people. The, the thing about this and hates his brother because we don't see enough of 
them when they were superheroes. And again, it's not like one was a hero and one was the ultimate supervillain. Yeah. It's just they're both men who beat up other men. It's just yep. one of them's a little bit more harsh, apparently. Yeah. And then the reveal at the end is like, I'm I'm not Samaritan. You thought I was Samaritan, but I'm the back to the bad guy. Yeah. Okay. And there's some this, incredible this, de-aging. There is. It looks like true. it was done on an app. <laughs> like on set. Yeah, yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, anyway, it's just... It's not very good, is it? It's all right. It's, it's. I mean, no, it's not. It's set in a weird, anachronistic world where people have flip so phones and mean, old cars. I think you mean car park. Yeah, it's set in a car park. <laughs> it's true, it is. It's Some right. of the shots are nice. Yeah. Uh, I could see why it nearly went to cinemas and then they went, no. Mm. And it went to streaming, it went yeah. to Amazon. Um, it's weird because it's one of those things where, like, it's in like it's it's a it's a new superhero property, yes. But it absolutely does nothing new. Well, that's true. It, apparently, it, it's one except of those... he eats ice cream and his heart could explode. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, true. Or something. It's I don't know. Like whenever there's a new superhero property in this vein, yeah. I always think like, is it somebody who really loves superheroes and and they've gotten their chance to do this because superheroes are hot right now? Yeah. Or so is it hot. just some people going, well, superheroes are hot right now, so let's jump on it with the most generic thing possible? It kind of feels like that second one. And I apologize if you're out there and you created this and it's because you love superheroes so much. I would say get some bigger ideas. <laughs> well, that, well, I would say uh, I think there are like there's some fun to be had here okay. if you go in expecting absolutely nothing right. because we watched half of the worst movie of all time afterwards. That's true, we did. Which was much, much worse. The director of this also directed... Um, Ads? No. Ads for Shoes? The, the Nazi zombie movie. That Overlord. Out, Overlord, which yeah. is amazing, mm. which has That's the same villain in this as the villain in that. And this this is also one of those ones I think... The concept got turned into a graphic novel before the release of the movie because it's like we want to. Oh, no. you know. I didn't read it. No, I didn't read it. Also, yeah, yeah, I didn't read it. <laughs> I didn't read the scripts. I didn't find it in the garbage. So I didn't read it. I only read what I find in the garbage. It's anyway. It's just not. What was the movie we watched after the Scott Eastwood? It's a, it was a movie called Dangerous. Yep. And it's from maybe it was just on, it was just on a streaming service. It was like you want to watch this, and we're like, no, you said you want to watch. Okay, this. Okay, I did so, because it had Mel Gibson in the thumbnail, yeah. looking all perturbed and out of sorts. <laughs> and I'm like, I wonder what kind of garbage this is. It's got Mel Gibson, Tyrese Gibson, and Scott Eastwood in it, and it's like it's got the Gibson boys. It's got the a couple of Gibbos, <laughs> the Golden Gibbos, as we call them, and uh, it's it's like a it's sort of like Die Hard in a seaside house. But it's not. But very also maybe the purge, sort of a little bit. Maybe the purge and Scott Eastwood plays a sociopath who's sort on medication. Of. Yeah. And boy, it's dull, and it's one of those. It is precisely one of those movies that that Liam Neeson is famous for. Yeah. No, no, no. Actually, not Liam, because Liam Neeson at least will take a starring role, and he'll also be in most of the movie where yeah. Mel Gibson is on the phone. The yeah. This is this time. would be what we would in call, the same clothes. This is what we would call a geezer pleaser or the geezer teaser yeah. or whatever it is, where they you put them, you put a a, a formerly big name star. In the in the credits and on the poster, and people watch it, and he's in ten minutes of scenes, maybe. Yeah. Anyway, it sucked. It was really bad. We didn't finish Atrocious. it. Atrocious. Maybe one day we will finish it, Mason. Well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe if maybe maybe we'll do a commentary for <laughs> it. No, we wouldn't do it because it's not. It doesn't. It wouldn't make any sense to do that. No, because there was a lot of us sitting in silence, being like, "Why are they doing this? And why are we watching this?" Right. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, Mason. Uh, uh, do you have time stuff? for a letters theme? I do have time, but I was going to say anything else you've been watching. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I watch a bunch of stuff. Yeah. But I think I'll. I'll save it for that big, big episode. Oh, well, that we should doing. do that. Uh, uh, if just, just one more small thing. I, uh, I've been walking back and forth from work the last month, and I need a podcast to keep me entertained. So I listen to a podcast called Lawmen, L O R E M E N. Oh, Lawmen, which is a British podcast. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, it's about ah, got like local legends and supernatural oh, things. Oh, okay. That sounds like a Matt Stewart kind of it's a little bit. That he so there's, there's there's two uh, there's two hosts. James Shakespeare, who's a stand up comedian, and Alistair Beckett King. Which is a name you might recognise. He's a he's a, like a pale ginger man with a big ginger beard and long ginger hair, and he does a lot of like videos oh, on YouTube. Yeah, yeah he's, like, he's like, um, this is a sci-fi episode. Or yeah, whatever. And he's, he's great. Like, he's, he's really he'll, good. He'll, he'll just like be him. like, I'm just doing '80s animation now, and he's just done. Yeah, like he's a very. They're both very talented and funny, but he but they also do this podcast about uh, oh, great. local I, legends. I, and I if didn't you want that, if you want to learn about a. A mysterious woman that appears in a lake and it's all obviously made up, you know, that sort of stuff. Yes, I do want to find yeah. out about those things, Mason. It's a fun, fun podcast. I'd forgotten that I have to find the letters theme. You, I hope it still exists. You absolutely I'm, have to find it. I hope it. it hasn't been deleted oh, from Oh, wouldn't the that internet. be great if that person who runs that YouTube channel just deleted it? <sighs> that would be incredible. Baller move. I like, agree. Like The Rock. 
Here it is. He's lettuce. Bum, 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 bum. The classic one was lettuce. Oh, lettuce. We love you. Some lettuce. They're only a day away. You know they're here right now. We're going to do lettuce. Wow, it's lettuce time. This is the segment of the show where we go, wow, wow it's, it's lettuce, lettuce time. time. And Always you... in unison, every week. That's right. From now until the end of time. And if you've got a letter to send to the show, you can hash Shut it up. Yeah, sh- oh. No, wait. We're sick of them. No, shut up. Think about it. Be okay, like, great. is this worth sending? And oh, then yeah. it's fine. You can send anything. That's true. No quality control required. Hashtag Weekly Planet Pod on Twitter. Uh, that's firing up again. And weeklyplanetpod at gmail.com. Speaking of no quality control, here's an email from... No, just kidding. Got him. This is from Stephen. Hello, Hello from Canada, he says. P-H or V? V. I should have gotten you to guess. Mm. Just to pad this episode out a little All bit right, more. All right, let's do it. Uh, hey, James and Mesa, long-time listener, first-time writer. Hope you're enjoying your break or have enjoyed your break. Definitely well-deserved. Thank you. We did and have mm. and are. And do. I'm a head brewer in Ontario, Canada. And I like listening to the pod on a regular packaging day, Monday. My staff doesn't have a choice in the matter and get their red hot comic book and TV news shot right up their butthole like everyone else and how God intended. That's being the boss. This isn't tricking them, but I hope that some enjoyed enough to listen on their own. Uh, <laughs> can I be the official brewer named Stephen from Ontario for, for the pod? I have a good mate who also brews professionally in the area, is a fan of the pod, and is also named Stephen. Two brewers? I want to officially be the first, unless he's beaten. Is that PH? It. Do I have to guess? Also with a V. Oh, I could have guessed. I know, I know, but I was I was on a roll. Okay. <laughs> uh, which is fine because he's a good guy and a good brewer. Uh, long shot, but if you're ever in Ontario, please drop us a line and collectively we will fill you full of beer. Sick. From Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. Do you mean like line. torture or just like... Yeah, like waterboarding beer. but with beer. All right. Yeah, beer boarding. <laughs> It's the new beer bong, James. Beer is boarding, it? yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is fascinating and fantastic, Mason. Isn't it though, yeah. Thank you, Stephen, with a PH. This is from Quinton oh, Mason. The disrespect. <laughs> the sheer disrespect. Well, I want his crew, like his crew that he works with, to turn against him. Oh, yeah, great. You know? Yeah, so that's, that's for sure. A mutiny. <laughs> a beer based mutiny. They're going to get, they're going to beer board him. <laughs> hey, James and Mason, what was your favorite piece of news that uh, you got to skip during the holiday? I think all the Ezra Miller stuff was nice to that was nice to skip yeah. every week because mm-hmm. it was constantly ongoing and awful. And I just mm. any of that stuff when there's a person like it clearly it's the same with the Shia LaBeouf thing like yeah. constantly in crisis mm. and like clearly having some kind of mental break. Like I don't I don't want to I don't want to every week be like yeah, look yeah, what yeah. they've done this time. A few celebrity deaths that I was happy we didn't have to dwell sure. on. Uh, Paul Sorvino passed away, which is Mira Sorvino's oh, yeah. dad, like another a, made guy, like another. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a gangster guy, mm. uh, but yeah, yeah. What I, what I, dead people you don't have to acknowledge. Is that's that your true. answer. Yes, exactly right. I don't want to think about it because it yeah, makes me yeah, think of my yeah. own mortality. Also, it was nice to just watch some stuff and go, boy, I hope I don't have to watch six episodes of this, you know, in an hour because I have to leave into the podcast and talk about it. Yeah, you know, yeah sometimes yeah. we're in a little bit of a rush, and that's also good not doing the weekly recaps from the Marvel stuff or whatever. That's true. Which we. Like, we'll do a, like a She-Hulk wrap-up at the end. Yeah, we'll yeah. probably do a video on that and whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, it's nice not to go week to week that's and also true. be yelled at on YouTube. Uh, Very I mean, true. we still will, and that's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, this is from Simon Morgan who says, uh, Surefire Omen, I don't know if you saw this, Mason, uh, signifying the return of the Weekly Planet, light the beacons and release the fiberglass Stallone. So one of the uh, – <laughs> that was in reference to, and they've tweeted, the, the subtweet or whatever it's called, there was a uh, Demolition Man – Stallone body cast. Nude. Nude. Fully nude. That turned up in South Australia or something. Yeah, it was like six grand. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and, and money well spent, I say. I agree. Here's and- the new co-host. <laughs> nude Sylvester Stallone fiberglass For man. a second, I was like, should I try and get right? this? Right, yeah. <laughs> but why? Yeah. Uh-huh. Like, and also, I didn't realise this. They were in every Planet Hollywood. Oh, there was I multiple was nude ones. Like the one, but there yeah. was the thing they put in the roof of all of them. Well, in, or that, a lot well, of them. in that case, $6,000 is way too high. I agree. Right? So Han Solo's blaster, one of his original ones from A New Hope, went for like a million dollars just recently as well. My goodness. So, uh, yeah, that was that was really exciting to see. And also apparently the people who had it didn't know what it was. <laughs> Which I guess you wouldn't. If you, you wouldn't, had to say yeah. Demolition Man, you would be very confused mm. as to why you had that. It was. It seemed to be pretty like Stallone accurate. Yeah, sure. I mean, I, also he was behind like ice and glass or whatever, so oh, for sure, you wouldn't yeah, even yeah. see it up close. Oh, but I meant the like the because the one that was for sale was just like a loose Stallone. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> so you could so, like the face was quite like a if you got a close Stallone. if you got a close look up at it, you'd be like, oh yeah, that does that did look quite yeah. like Stallone. It wasn't like. It wasn't like you'd look at it and go, who's that guy? Like, no, if, you, oh, yeah, if you, you had any, like, a vague recollection of pop culture, you'd be like, that's a nude Stallone, but why? Yeah. 
I like a loose Stallone. I like that. Like a bear, like he's like a Stallone mm. got into your neighborhood and going through oh, the Oh man, rubbish. he's gone through the bins. <laughs> That's what he would do now. That's what he would do, Mason. Oh, could I keep this? <laughs> I guess. I guess, yeah, sure. <laughs> Take it easy, man. This is from Tim. Hello, Tim. Trivia quiz. What? Hey, mates, I put up a 50-question multiple-choice quiz about the Weekly Planet on Sporkle. What? It has been posted to the Great Mates Facebook group. Some I... of the mates are suggesting James and Meso take the quiz and do a segment on or a YouTube about it or something. While it seems they would have an advantage since they said and did all the things in the quiz, it is also well known that they forget everything they have ever said. Yeah, I don't reckon I do very well on that. Content, I guess. I'll do it. Uh, anyway, I know not all pod listeners are in the Facebook group, so if you want to mention it for those who might want to give it a go, that would be great. Ba-pow. Here's the link. HTTPS colon slash slash W. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Sporkle. Sporkle. You type in Sporkle the Weekly Planet probably quiz. Come up, yeah. Probably come up. Or just search Sporkle for Weekly Planner. Thanks, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, Tim. Let's go to the first question, see if we know the first question at least. Uh, while you're bringing this up, mm-hmm. uh, that up, I'll quickly bring up this from Lee Fenner, who says, hashtag Weekly Planner Pod, as my Southern Hemisphere mates, is the ending of Neighbours a big deal down under? No. no. Uh, I, I mean, it's a, it's a, an, institu- it's an Australian institution. Yep. It's mm-hmm. been going for 400 years. Yes. Uh, apparently a bunch of the cast came back for the finale. Margot Robbie was there. Yeah, I had a friend. Uh, Kylie Minogue, Al yeah. Kylie. Apparently, a, f- a friend of mine watched it and who, who used to watch it as a kid, and she was like, she watched this fina- the finale, and she was just like incomprehensible. Yeah, she sure. didn't know right, what right. was happening. I wonder. I think they should have just gone nuts and just been like supernatural stuff, serial time killers, travel. time travel. Yes, exactly. Harold's yeah, yeah. dead wife, Maud, is back. Yes. Yeah. Um, Charlie Clawson didn't get a gig though. Whoa! Even though the- he was a cop or something. No, he was a. He was a troubled youth or something. Was he? Okay, great. Yeah, he was. He was had a, a big role in Home and Away, but he was a troubled youth. Oh, that's great. Neighbours, yeah. Mm, yeah. If you're yeah. an Australian actor, you've been a troubled life imitate, youth. Life imitates art, imitates life. I agree, and vice versa. If you're an Australian actor, though, you've been on one of those two. That's shows very at true. Some yeah, point, usually, yeah. Okay, let's let's have a look at this quiz. Question mm. one: What affectionate sobriquet does James use for his wife? Greg. That is true. Sobriquet. Yeah. Hate that. <laughs> wow. It's a new word and I hate yeah, it, Mason. Yeah, but you were good with the other word before. You weren't. It was bad. You, you said it bad. What was it? Polygamy? I can't remember. <laughs> yeah, it was polygamy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me the second qu- question. Okay, Greg. Which of these was not considered an alternate title for the podcast? The Weekly Bugle, Fortress of Lolitude, Infinity Jauntlets, or Podcast Full of Kryptonite? I know which two it isn't. I don't think it's Fortress of Lolitude. We nearly did. And it's not Infinity Jauntlets. It was nearly speeding bullshit. That was like the yeah. first one, wasn't it? Yeah. Would it be? I think it might Is be. The... Infinity Jauntlet was a joke. Yeah, but they're, right? all they're, jo- they're all no, jokes. No, no, yeah. I mean, but like none of those are. Are any of them real? Like real things that we considered? I can't remember. Yeah, Fortress of Lolitude and. No, oh no, not really. No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I reckon it might be the Weekly Bugle, but it doesn't sit like. Yeah. I, don't I, I got that. a little green thing, but I don't know if that's correct. That's a. That's we don't a, know until the end, James. Oh. oh okay, let's How do this many later. Are there? 50. No. <laughs> There's no time for this. <laughs> no, Mason. No, 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 no. <laughs> We'll do uh, it later, but I hope uh, – let us know. Just just tweet at us with the number you got yes. right. Uh, Mason, I want you to let me know if you still remember how to wrap up the show. I do. I say, folks, thank you so much for listening to the podcast. We definitely appreciate it. Yes. Uh, let's see. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for coming back, if indeed you did. Hope you cheers enjoyed. for you and cheers if you didn't. I hope you enjoyed the bonus free content that we put out week to week. Oh, yeah, that's right. I hope. Uh, Let us know also. what you thought of it, the uh, the bonus stuff we put out from the Big Sam Archive. We put it out on the free feed. Yeah. Hope that tidied you over. Uh, folks, if you want to get into contact with us, wait, is that what I do? Is that, is that the order I do it in, James? Could be. Could be. Hang on. Let me think. I've oh, you know what? Folks, thank you for liking the show. Thank you for sharing with your friends. Thank you for subscribing to the podcast. Thank you for leaving a five-star review. James, you got any reviews there? Uh, yeah, I actually have two right here, my son. I'm going to show you, and they're both Snake Eyes related. This one <laughs> is from Caleb the Dreamer, who says five stars. You can just do this in app as well. It That's helps incredible. the show immensely. I cannot wait for the review of Snake Eyes. It is definitely coming soon. And this one's from Amez210, who says, best podcast about the Snake Eyes movie. These two funny boys have promised me a comprehensive review of my favorite film of all time, 2021 Snake Eyes, every week for what feels like the past two years. Well, it couldn't be if it's a 2021 movie. Yeah. I thought it was this year. I, I don't know. Sure. But, uh, <laughs> while they still have uh, yet to do the review, they never disappoint with their amazing content. I have watched Snake Eyes every week in the hopes that they will cover it. And now every time I bleak, I see Henry Golding's chiseled face. 10 out of 10, five stars from Alex. I did consider when we went on break 
would it be funny if we came back and first thing we talked about was the Snake Eyes review yeah. instead of all the Warner Brothers stuff? I think that might have been funny. But I think people would have not liked that. They would have not liked that. <laughs> they would have not liked that. Yeah. Uh, folks, if there's anything you do not like, yep. let us know by finding us at Weekly Planet Pod at Gmail, at Facebook, at Twitter, at Bandcamp. You can go to the Planet Broadcasting Great Mates Facebook group. You can go to the Weekly Planet Pod cast yes uh subreddit and discord uh you could also not do those things it's, yeah, up to you you. it's entirely not. up to you but just pop in there if you want to have some fun chats about podcasting and pop culture and all those kind of yeah. things uh if you want to support the show you can go to patreon.com slash mr sunday movies you can chuck in a buck there or if you're a real richie rich that's a pop culture reference wow that's, very that relevant. Is, that's good that's good you can go to uh big sandwich.co you can sign up for nine us dollars Per month, you can get all sorts of bonus podcasts and movie commentaries and early videos. Our contact details, you can contact me at Wikipedia Brown on Twitter. I can also Nick read, out your, on Instagram. I can read out your phone number if you want. Yeah, no, don't do that. Because I have it. Don't do that at all. Uh, or uh, can... 1-800-BONUS. Yeah. I told you that in confidence, James. <laughs> uh, you can follow James at Mr. Sunday Movies everywhere. You can also follow our pal Rob Collings. He's at Raw Collings on Twitter. He's at The Weekly Planet. He handles all that sort of stuff, all kinds of socials. He knows what's up. Absolutely, he does. Uh, thank you to the Brute and the Basilisk and Rackham for all our musical themes. If you want to buy some merch, I do. get it all at bloody tpublic.com. Just search for the Weekly Planet. Find a weird one, get it, put it on you. Find a bloody weird Take one. Take a photo, bloody tweet it at us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, what, you yeah. know what's up. Absolutely. Next week, all sorts of stuff. Disney something or whatever. That's the big thing that's happening. All oh, is, that, is it D23 next week? Yeah. Exciting. I believe so. Let me just double check that date. Movie-wise, what do you want to talk about? Next week, D twenty three. Okay, fine, Mason. <laughs> All right, okay. But in upcoming weeks, we will talk about Prey. We'll talk about the Sandman. Yep. We re- I reckon we'll talk about Nope, the movie. Oh, nope. I do want to talk about. Nope. Yeah, that's what I'm talking oh, about. Oh man, I forgot to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I wrote yeah. it down. Good stuff. A new era of professionalism, James. I wrote down the word Nope. <laughs> And you remembered, though. Yeah, that's true. And you remembered. Yeah. Uh, September 9th through 11th, which is, of course, next week. So, yeah, well, that's perfect. That's perfect timing, Mason. Perfect. All right. Thank you again, everybody, and we'll see you next week. As I say every week, except for the last four weeks when I didn't grab that jam, you guys. We'll see you next week. We'll see you next week. Next week. Goodbye. <laughs>